Well, hello, para peeps, and welcome to another episode of Our Haunted Travels. Let's talk paranormal live. I am your host, Sean Donnelly. I'm your co-host, Marianne Donnelly. Would you have something super excitable? Because you're like, that's right. Woo! I'm sitting here watching this thing, waiting the clock, going tick, 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 tick. That's the longest like ten minutes ever. <laughs> Because I want to go live and I'm ready to talk to my pair of peeps. We are back. Back in the studio. We got Boris back into his body. <laughs> Just dropped oh, He's Just dropped getting the so excited. He's dropping things now. <clears throat> so how's everyone doing on this fine Saturday evening? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. So we're going to hang out here for a little bit, let more people get those notifications, come and join in. While we were doing that, please let us know you're here by leaving a comment in the chat. Uh, we normally ask this, tell us where you're from, but you can make up whatever you want. I really don't care. <laughs> so we got Skyheart Demon. All right. In the woods with Woofy. Says that poor Boris looks like he's still tired. He needs some more rest. <laughs> <laughs> He's not as excited as Sean, huh? <laughs> You're supposed to be energetic on your live stream, but then I get ridicule from my wife. I could just sit here and... Mm -hmm. There is a difference between energetic and blasting their eardrums. I don't think I blasted your ear. Was I too loud? I'm sorry if You I were too screaming. Loud. I wasn't. Woman. Oh. All right, so, hey, listen, everybody who's in here now... Uh, just let us know because probably a couple hours before we went live, I had to hook everything back up because some of this stuff we take with us. So let us know. Do you hear us okay? Are you seeing us okay? Hopefully everything is well. I did a couple tests and that's right, Richard. I can never win, but I am married. So I know that's the truth. I am always, <laughs> always wrong, but that's okay. <laughs> whatever <laughs> all right let's get started knows. we'll do some housekeeping while people are checking in yeah i know i know i know once you talk a minute well i kind of play with your toys get, my get toys yourself all excited get your toys excited yeah i'm good <laughs> here we go yeah keep it clean will you woman <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's talk about this week's show producers. Go ahead, Marin, that's all you. Go ahead. All right, so our first one to this time is Promote Horror, and then we have John F. Leonard and Ghosts of the 812. Ooh. So why don't you tell them how they could be those a show some, producer? Those are all new ones for us. We haven't; Those ones haven't been uh, show producers before, I don't think. No, those are new ones. They're new, all, all three are new. All yeah. right, so tell them how they could be a show producer. All right, so you can become a show producer first by following us on Twitter, then coming back and liking, retweeting, and commenting our posts that we make. And the top three each week will be listed as a co-producer. That is right, my dear. Yep, so follow us on Twitter and retweet. 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 <laughs> All right, just a live disclaimer, we are live, folks. So I apologize in advance for saying something incorrectly, but that's why I have my beautiful co-host here to correct me when I am wrong. And you know I love to do so. If you are new to our channel, please <laughs> hit that subscribe button, smash that like and show us some love, show us some support of the channel. Let us know that what we are doing, mm -hmm. you want us to continue to do. That's why I say show us support. Actually, any YouTuber that you go to, if you like what they're doing, subscribe to them, hit that like button, leave them a comment because that keeps them going doing what they're doing. And that is the way we gauge, and I'm sure every other YouTuber gauges as to what they're doing, they're doing it in the right direction to entertain. So, hey, please consider supporting our channel by doing that. <laughs> All right. So, at this point, how many we got in here? Nine watching. Let's see if we can double it. Go ahead and share this out on your social media. If you have Twitter, tweet it out. If you have Facebook, go ahead and post that link. Instagram, whatever you want to do. Go ahead and post it out and tell them, hey, these creepy friends over here at Panic D Videos is live. Come on in and join the party. 
Bring a friend. I'm sorry, am I still being too excited? No, you're doing much better now, darling. All right, you want to handle this part? What part am I doing? Who we are. Who we are? Well, we are a husband and wife duo. <laughs> and we actually go to locations that have paranormal claims, and we do investigations. We uh, look into the history of the locations, etc. We come back and we tell all you fine folks all about what we have discovered. And we can officially say it's well over 200 locations. Yeah, we really have to count those things again. I probably will within <laughs> the next week. Maybe by the next show I'll know exactly, know exactly. how many. But we hit a ton of them in Gettysburg that while we, we were there. And a lot of new ones. So, yes. yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, there were a bunch cool. of them that we had been to previous that there are favorites, you know, there are stomping grounds. However, we did hit a few new locations as well. Yeah. yeah. We did. Which All is right, crazy because so... it's the third time there and we're still you know, together and we're still finding new locations. <laughs> And, and people were telling us the new locations, too. So, hey, keep them coming. Keep them coming because yeah. that is awesome. <laughs> All right. It is time. It's time for the... I don't have a graphic for this. I should make a graphic. What's a graphic? Roll call. Is that not a graphic? That's a graphic. I'm in a video intro. Oh, a video okay. intro. It's going to be one of those nights, folks. <laughs> Oh, I am not going to be able to say anything all right, so I will be corrected <laughs> all night long. <laughs> okay, well, if you have not posted uh, in the chat in a minute or so, please go ahead and do so again to make sure you are in the list uh, for our participants real quick. I know I will miss some of you because you like did your uh, hi a little bit ago. Uh, listed are... Richard, DJM Films, Family Shine Paranormal, In the Woods with Wolfie, Joanne Reagan, Kelly Reynolds, and Tracy. Alrighty. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I know there's a couple others that had said some things earlier and they did not uh, say anything recently. Uh, like Skyheart Demon, they were in here early. I don't know if there was anybody else that hasn't posted in a bit that I missed. If so, I apologize. Go ahead and say hello to us, and we will say hello back. I don't know why I have this slide before this slide. I don't know. So let's see. Uh, bring that list back up again. Let's see if anybody in here is not a pair of people. Kelly Reynolds. I don't know if Kelly Reynolds is it. I can't remember. I can't remember if Kelly Reynolds is a pair of people. DJM Films, I can't remember. Chris Mohan, he just popped in. Hello, Chris. All right, so let's talk about how to become a certified pair of people. Get that out of the way. So basically, all you have to do is send us proof that you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell. Just email that out to panicdvideos at gmail.com. And we'll make you a certificate and send it back. We are behind again on the certificates. You know, and do that apologize. Whole, like, vacation thing, you know. But yeah. Kelly says she is a subscriber. Uh, okay. I don't know if she is a pair of heat, but Kelly, do you have a certificate like that? Did we send almost, it back? I almost think that I, I don't remember. You if you did, cool. One, maybe. If you didn't, um We'll get on it. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> We'll get on it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think I need to be worried about my dinner. What are you going to put in it? Anyways, I like to get that part out of the way so I can do that. Kelly Ooh. said she did not get one. So okay. So just shoot us an email um, and uh, we'll get you. And basically we do that so we have everybody's uh, contact information. That, uh, <laughs> Your pair of peeps. And our email address will eventually pop up right here above my head. This is uh, changing. And it's Panic D Videos, our channel name, at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just shoot us an email on over. And you'll find out why you want to do that right now. Are we ready to do that digga digga digga? Or do we want to wait oh, a Oh, let's wait a minute or two. Okay. We, we have a, a cute little statement here from In the Woods with Wolfie. He said, Certified, I should be certified, but I don't think it's quite the same. <laughs> <laughs> They're certified, certified and certifiable. Uh -huh. 
Yes. Uh, let's see. All lowercase, Kelly. It does not matter. Doesn't matter. That's I would all do good. all lowercase. Unless specified, but yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We'll get it all the same. Mm -hmm. All right. That just so we have your contact information. Because we do have some changes that's coming up. I, I, I just want to talk with you because everybody who's here right now has been with us for a long time. So you guys are our true parapeeps. And we appreciate your support and following us and, and things like that. Since we hit a thousand and we're getting close to becoming monetized, which I'll show you guys that in a second, um, we're, we're making some changes, some subtle changes to our Hana travels in our channel. Okay. Um, these things include nothing that's really going to affect anything or affect anybody that she doesn't even care. She don't do it. She just, she doesn't do it. So I want to change the Our Haunted Travel webpage. Most of you guys don't even know that that's out there and that exists. So I want to change that a little bit because I'm starting to create more playlists. Some of your guys' videos, when I come out and visit you, Marianne does, she comes out sometimes when I ask her to, hey, could you help out? But, um, we're going to take your videos and put them in playlists and things like that. But I'm also starting to organize other playlists on our channel. So like all right now, and you guys probably don't even know this, but all the ghost stories and folklore are grouped together. All the location videos are grouped together. The recipe videos are grouped together, things like that. And then what I'm going to do on our web page is have the embed of the playlists. So like if you just like the ghost stories and folklore, you could just binge watch them or you know because there's videos that we put out there back in november december january that you guys probably have never saw but they're in those playlists so you know just little things like that we're we're kicking around and working on a patreon page patreon page and uh what else was i doing well i started working on a tumblr um blog page for just our haunted travels i'm not separating away from panic d or panic d videos it's just to feature our haunted travels a little bit better so working on some of those things you didn't even know about that just things i was playing around with and then it's okay we'd say hey you can go to our web page and i'll put a form in there where it's easier to send us an email and they can just fill it out okay. on a web page all so. right you go right ahead dear yeah whatever let me see if i can see this without my glasses <laughs> Because I'm just looking and I see these bright, shiny, like, boxes in my eyes. <laughs> All right. creeping Can, me out. Are we still waiting to do the digga 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 digga? No, whatever. You, let's, did you, did, you didn't tell them how to become a pair of peep yet, though. Yeah, I did. Didn't I? I don't think so. I thought I did. Okay. If you did, well, if I, didn't, I don't do it again. remember it. I did it real quick. Oh, but. okay. All right, so... Uh, parapeeps is the term that we use. Hashtag parapeeps. We use it on Twitter and Instagram and things like that. But that's basically the, the hashtag that we use for our followers on the channel. Now, listen to me. Some of you parapeeps, you don't have to be a paranormal investigator to be a parapeep. That's just the term that we use. Michael Scott uses ghosties. You know, other people, Pusha Studios uses Blue Wrench Group. We use parapeeps. Yes. That's all it is. It's just... It's just saying And then when we say, the hello, parapeeps. You're okay, just one of the gang. We started out saying, hello, YouTube. But then we thought, okay, what if YouTube doesn't stay around? And then, like, all of our videos will be saying, hello, YouTube, if we're on a different... Platform. Platform. Okay. So that's what parapeeps are. Now, a certified parapeep. Each week we go live with Let's Talk Paranormal, Saturday, live at 5 o'clock. We're going to give something away. In order to enter to win it, get in it to win it, you just have to show us proof that you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell. Well, if you go ahead and do that ahead of time, become a certified parapeep, send us that information. We have your contact info. We send you back a certificate so that each week you pop on or you send the email to enter to win it, boom, we know you already subscribed. Yeah, and we don't put every pair of peep in for every drawing because you might not want what we're giving away that week. True. You may have won one already and you don't need another, whatever. Uh, so every week, if you want to win something from us, you just send us the pair of peep certificate plus your uh, hashtag, whatever the code is for the for week. For that week. Uh, and that way we can find your email. So that's pair of peeps. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. 
Oh, uh, now you got me really confused. All right, okay, so In the Woods here. with Wolfie says that I am probably going to punch you for not telling ab me, me about the new projects, dear. No, she don't care. <laughs> and Sidharth is here, says hi, and Joanne said how are you doing? she did. All right, so. Or maybe she was saying hi, Sid, and just mis misspelled it, which could possibly be. <laughs> so the last two weeks, we've been putting out there and saying we're going to do a big giveaway today uh wrapping up gettysburg our gettysburg trip we're not wrapping up gettysburg because we got a ton of videos a ton of videos about gettysburg um but uh the giveaway was hashtag gtw correct it was from last week and the week before and we have how many items to give away we're going to give away five, five things today we have five items to give away from gettysburg Mm -hmm. Now, those pair of peeps that listen to us and send us the email are the ones that are entered to win these five items. Mm -hmm. Next week, we're going to draw for what we're giving away this week, which will be a signed copy of our first edition of our book. How it all started. It has in here how it all started, and it has in here some tips and stuff on how to do ghost hunting while you're traveling and then it has locations from st augustine okay mm -hmm. signed copy that's what we're giving away next week for this week however we're ready now yes so okay. the last two weeks we've been saying let's get some gettysburg stuff while we're there and give it away so these are the pair peeps who sent us the email with pound sign gtw or hashtag gtw Whatever you want to call it. but um, So we have Sid Hearth, Andrew Kitchens, Richard Larison, Annette Reagan, Pusha Studios, Kay Johnson, PSPR Paranormal, DGA Go DGH Ghost Hunters, and Joanne Reagan. Tracy says she wants the book. <laughs> All right, You'll so have Tracy, to send in your thing for next week, send Tracy. send for next week. And, and Sid is book. ready to win his giveaway. All right. <laughs> So let's see. Let me bring up the... Digga 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 digga. All right, you do that, my dear. Uh, we will be giving away uh, five different things tonight. And so each time we spin that, I'm going to say what we're going to give away with that one. Okay, so as you can see here, I have everyone's name in the hopper there. And once you win something, we will take your name out. And we'll keep drawing. Mm -hmm. All right. So the first thing that we're going to give away the first is thing what? It, we're going to give away is an official bullet from Gettysburg. And that actually came off the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So, well, I didn't dig it out. That's illegal. But I did purchase it in a store in Gettysburg for you. All right. So, <laughs> yes, so now who gets everybody the who wins, you're keeping track of a list here. I right? am. I've got my list written down for all the items all right. and. So everyone who wins, I and mean, we'll go back in the, you know, the certifications. Hopefully we have your address. If not, we'll shoot you an email saying, hey, we need your address to send us to. There you go. So, all right. Here we go. This so is for the bullet. For the bullet. Annette Reagan. All right. Congratulations. All right. So... Got her All right, one. so All we right. got that one. Next? The next one is going to be a piece of an official witness tree from Gettysburg. Um, a witness tree, for those of you who don't know, is a tree that was around during the Civil War. Uh, examined, well, saw all the different battles. It was the witness. Um, this particular one uh, is from outside of... Um, Mr. G's ice cream, and it is directly across the street from the Farnsworth house, and there was both battle going on that, in that area, and also when Abraham Lincoln came through to give the Gettysburg Address, he went right he went past, right past tree. this particular tree. So, witness right. tree piece. So, here we go. Sid Hearth. 
Sid Hearth got a piece of the Yay! witness tree. Sid did. He he's been like every week trying to trying to win something. Right. Actually, a, a, Annette Reagan has been doing the same thing the last couple of weeks. So both of them first winners to, of the night. That's awesome. Now that's not going to be the last that you hear about the witness tree. We have another one for the big mega giveaways once we get monetized. So that's correct. we'll talk about that here in a little bit. All right, what else we got? All right, the next item I have is a piece of a brick. From the Wills House. David Wills House. David Wills House is the location that Abraham Lincoln spent the night, the night before he gave the Gettysburg Address, and made finishing touches to the actual Gettysburg Address while in the Wills House. So that's a piece of a brick from the David Wills House. Yes. All right, here we go. Mona. Mona! All right. Mona, she had been waiting for a t-shirt for forever. She finally well, she won. She got a t-shirt. She finally now wins she that. that. Now she's getting this. That's awesome. All right. So two more items, peeps. Two more items. All right. What we got next? The next one I have is a um, musket ball from the Battle of Gettysburg. This one here is in a Rikers box. So it's all... Nice and boxed. Nice and boxed and sealed up. All yep. right, here we go. I don't have a specific story about e either of the bullets. Sorry. I love that noise. Andrew Kitchens. Andrew. All right, Andrew, congratulations. How many more we got? One more item. So the next item is by request of the Parapeeps. This one wasn't my choice. Um, you guys, when we were there, we sat there and said, what do you guys want us to bring you? And they said they wanted a copy of the Gettysburg Address. So we went to the Roop House and we purchased a copy of the Gettysburg Address for you. And uh, Sean had said, well, I think it's pretty cool, cool, and I want one of these, and so we have one of these as well. But this is uh, the proposal poster. This is a replica of the proposal poster. By the way, so is the Gettysburg Address. There are five copies of the original Gettysburg Address. However, this is not one of them. Uh, <laughs> She's a walking encyclopedia. Anyways, this is, <laughs> this is a um, poster replica from when David Wills was preparing the National Cemetery in Gettysburg for all the soldiers and said, hey, uh, if you go pick up some of those bodies and turn them in, we will pay you. So, so they get both of those. They get both of those replicas in this spin. All right, here we go. All right. Let's see what we got. PSPR. PSPR Paranormal. All right. All right. Well, congratulations to Congrats all of you. everybody. Yes. And thank you for... P participating losing, and... Losing some of the weight in our house. <laughs> yes. Thank you for participating, for sending in those emails. And let's move on to next week's drawing. All right. Okay. So next week we're going to give away one of our books. Uh, we'll sign it and um, give it, a, you know, send it to you. Um, so here's how you enter to win the drawing next week. Basically, everything I explained earlier about being a uh, certified parapet. You send us an email to panicdvideos at gmail.com with the subject hashtag 017. Hashtag 017. Now when we go to set up the show for next week, we're going to pull those emails. Hashtag 017. Those names go in the hopper. We draw the name. We'll send you out a book. All right. That's how that works. Sounds All right, good. So, so hashtag 017. This is the book we're giving away. Yep. This particular one? Oh, it doesn't have to be this particular one. Well, oh, set it somewhere out of the way so I quit manhandling it. Okay, uh, let's, uh, I'll do that. 
All Get right, all so Virginia Fisherman wants to know if I have any Robert E. Lee stuff. I actually have uh, a piece of wood from the uh, Lee headquarters from Gettysburg. I do have that. There's it's not a lot not of a giveaway, Robert, Lee, Robert E. Lee memorabilia in Gettysburg because Gettysburg was the Union side. Right. However, we did go to Antietam, which was a lot of general... Lee stuff down there. Yes. But I don't think we got it. I did not purchase pieces of locations yeah. from there. Yeah. The Southern Army was basically the, well, yeah, it was basically the enemy of Gettysburg. So right. there's yeah. not a lot of General Lee stuff in right. Gettysburg. Right. And in fact, it's kind of funny because General Meade was the United States military leader up there in the north and there's not a lot of stuff that's no. mead either no so not really it's interesting no. there's actually more this? there's actually more with uh you know having the building for lee and his headquarters that's there they don't actually i mean they have the mead headquarters it is part of park property but they don't like advertise it as much no a lot of people didn't know that that was mead's headquarters right no. right and in fact, um, Meade's well, headquarters... Well, on our Instagram, I posted that video. We were standing in front of Meade's headquarters. I put that on Instagram, and uh, that's the opening scene of the Gettysburg movie mm -hmm. right there. Yeah, and they had taken a picture, um, one of the, the wet, wet tin type... Uh, I can't remember if it was wet plate or tin type. They had taken uh, the cast, the union portion of the cast, took in front of General Meade's uh, headquarters for the movie open, and, and then they used it for the movie opening. So they uh, took that and turned it into uh, part of the original set. Um, uh, we should have showed them. Why don't you go grab our tin type? We'll show them. Okay, I could do that. Okay. Yep. Uh, well, do we want to do the ours hashtag? Ours is not tin type. Ours is... Uh, the do, wet plate. Do we want to do that? I asked you. I don't care. Okay, so while Marianne's getting that, let's do something. This is something we kind of picked up from Pusha Studios. It's kind of fun. Uh, so if you guys want to, this is great. This is our chance to see you guys. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. If you're on Twitter, or Facebook, Instagram, whatever, take a little selfie and send it out with hashtag parapeeps. And we'll bring it up. Let us know when you send it out. And, and uh, I think some of you guys, I think Sid Hearth emails it to me. Just let me know which way you send it. And uh, we'll bring it up and show you guys on the show. All right. So this we didn't get this this time. Well, you're not on screen at the moment. But That's okay. We didn't get this this time. We, we actually See, did this last time. we're supposed to do the hashtag parapeeps, too. Okay. That's how that works. Okay. So I'm going to take a picture of that. Okay. Unless you want to do it. But you're supposed to be watching the chat. Oh, well, I could, you know. That's okay. It's all good. Virginia Fisherman looks like they're sad because we don't have a lot of the Robert E. Lee stuff. It seems like they're a big fan. I can show you a piece of that. I can show you a piece of that. I have. I'll show that off. He'll, Virginia Fisherman will be happier. Okay, yeah. can I take a picture yeah, of that Yeah, you first? can take a picture of this. All right. You could talk about that while I post so this. So this is the uh, piece of General Lee's headquarters that I presently own. It's this uh, piece in the middle. You can hardly see it through the window there. I keep seeing the glass reflection. I don't know how much what we can get there. Maybe closer. Let's just keep okay. getting reflection. Uh, anyway, so that's the uh, General Lee headquarters piece that I have. So I do have some General Lee items. I also have some Confederate money that I purchased as well. Yeah, not there's this not time, a lot of General Lee but, stuff there, but yeah. I'm sure there is in Antietam. There's I, actually a museum in Antietam that has a lot of General Lee stuff. It even has the um, death mask. Yes, yeah. yes, that's the... Um, Confederate, it's the, the Confederate, Confederate Civil it's, War yes, Museum. Yes, yeah. Confederate Civil War Museum. Which You're is right. one of the locations we haven't done yet. And it's really and it's really quite cool, actually. I quite liked it a lot um, when we were there. It was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, this is the picture that he just tweeted out. 
Um, but this was a picture that we took uh, when we were in Gettysburg. Not this time, but the last time. Uh, we took it, we got it taken at the um, Victorian Photo Studio, which is directly across the street from the Dobbin House. And we had that taken, and not only did we go home with the picture, we also went home with the bare bones, not having a lens, but uh, one of the old portrait cameras from the 1800s. So that's pretty cool. So that was that from the last time we were there. We were in, we were gonna use it, um, that was the only picture that I've ever taken that's one of those old timey pictures, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Most people get Did that done that and picture? do that all the time. It's, it's gonna be on our Twitter and our Instagram here in a little bit, but I look like, they said that when you take those pictures, like mm -hmm. your nationality comes out better and I do look more Native American in that picture, yeah, you I do. think. Yeah, you do. You know. Plus, the sun probably darkened me a little bit more, too. Yeah. But I do get dark quick and dark. I mean. Yeah, you do. Really dark quick. <laughs> Not me. Yeah. That's just from being out on the battlefield. <laughs> I do get dark. Yeah. So, um, and, and that's that was, the Native American that's in me. Yeah. So, so that picture, um, it was taken with an old 1800s portrait camera. Uh, and it was done on wet plate. So that is just like the old 1800s. It would have been done the exact same way. We had to stand still for, I think it was 20 seconds. Um, it was really quite cool. So it was done exactly the same way uh, Virginia Fisherman was saying they thought it was a real pick back in the 1800s. So no, that was us. It was us. So Joanne said she put one on. Okay, Sid Harth emailed, sent on Sid Instagram. Sid wanted to know again what he won. He forgot in being so excited. Uh, he, You won the piece of the witness tree. You won the piece of the witness tree. So it was there during, uh, part of a tree that was there during the Civil War. Sid Harth, could you battle. send us another email with your address? if Because uh, I, I can't remember if I have it or not. I don't think I do. And then So we uh, can send you that. We sent, uh, Sid sent picture on email. All right, so that I can get to. Instagram, Joanne sent it to. on Instagram. Yeah. I can, oh. Do you have Joanne I on have, Instagram? I have Instagram on, on here. I can pull it up and show it on screen. Maybe. Oh, there's, there's Sid selfie. Although I don't know how to uh, look. I don't really use Instagram very much. Okay, so. All right, guys, here's. There's Sid Harth. Sid's all excited there because he won. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> I like doing the hashtag pair peeps. That's that's pretty cool. All right. I don't know how to look for stuff on Instagram. I don't do either. Oh. That's why I have Instagram up here. I'm looking oh, for okay. Joanne. Do you know Joanne's? No, I don't have a clue. Is that my phone? That's this is my, my phone. phone. That's, this okay. is my phone. All right, I'll find it. Okay. Go ahead, keep talking. All right, so um, what is the history on the oh, tree? Oh, she's nurse about that. Okay, sorry. Okay, so um, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see the. Jan said she sent it on Instagram, probably a private message, which I don't know how to bring up. <laughs> All right, we'll look. Right, we'll look. Was it Instagram um, or Facebook? She said Instagram. Okay. It's in your messages, she says. Mm, okay. So I don't know how you find that. Yeah, where's the freaking uh, messages? Yeah, I didn't. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, you got it. Okay. Okay. There so we go. we'll do it that way. <laughs> um, let there me think. There we go. There's Joanne Reagan. <laughs> she's morphing into a cat. It looks that way. She's been possessed by a cat. Is that a cat or? Yep, that's yeah, a cat. Yeah, it's a cat. It's definitely a cat. <laughs> All right, so the history of the tree that I was talking about, um, there were several trees that were still are still around in Gettysburg uh, from at the time that the Battle of the Civil War came through well, Gettysburg. Well, there's not several. Don't, you know, there don't are, mislead them. There, there there's are, only a few. I think there's three left. Okay, well, that's not that's several. several. That's a few. Two. A few is three. Two is a couple. A couple is two. All right, well, all right. So a few is three. Several is more than three. There's okay. not that so many. So then there's a few yeah. that are still there. Even um, the forestry, the woods around is all... 
because the the cannon fire took all that out. You know? Yeah, so they've been losing. Witnesses. They've been losing them to lightning strikes and things like that in the last several years. So any of the trees that were witness trees, um, they tried to preserve them, and you weren't allowed to like touch them. Um, however, um, sorry, I didn't mean to be nasty to. No, it's all right. That, but that's all right. That's See, what one to of me, the guys told me. To like, me, there's several. Only a few. To me, several is three. But okay. Um, anyhow, uh, they've been they've been losing uh, them to lightning strikes and <laughs> things over the last few curve. years. It don't happen that often. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, anyhow. <laughs> Uh, what was I thinking about uh, the witness tree? So, anyways, this particular one uh, was there and not only witnessed the battle, but also witnessed Abraham Lincoln coming through town on his way to the National Cemetery to dedicate it using the <laughs> using. Uh, he was riding down the road on a horse, and he rode past this tree. Correct. The other tree, because there was two, they call them the twin sycamores. The mm -hmm. other tree is still standing. Right. And then there's a witness tree right above Devil's Den. I mm -hmm. don't know where the third one is, to the, be honest with you. there's It's someplace else on the battlefield. Okay. As far as I can remember. Um, <clears throat> but in any case, this, this particular tree, it was damaged a couple years back. Um, back in... 14 or 15, I think it was, uh, it was damaged. And they so had they had to take it down. And when they did, they cut it up. And uh, one of the things that they did with it was they made a table in their ice cream shop. Best ice cream, by the way, in all of Gettysburg. Yeah, I didn't have any. You had one bite of I mine. I had a bite of yours. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, they made they made a table out of it where you can go and into their ice cream shop and sit there at it. Uh, and they also have a piece of it in their gift shop that still has a bullet in it uh, that you could, that they preserved and they shall act over so that you can it will be preserved and you can see it for all eternity. And then they sell little slivers of it. So they sell different sized pieces and things like that. And they make them into Christmas ornaments and magnets and you name it, uh, but they have a ton of them because these trees were from 155 years ago. These trees are huge, uh, and so there's a lot of wood to go around. So they've been selling it for a couple years, and they still have some, although the quantity was getting pretty low there. See what T-Dog said? <laughs> Just send it. I don't have to show it. They don't want me to show it. That's Sid, okay. Sid says he wants to see. <laughs> we want to see. Yeah. Okay. Richard, so since that tree was around when the war was on, is it possible for that to have some attachment to it? Um, I haven't heard that there has been any attachment to it at all. It's such um, a small piece. It's, probably not yeah, because they do have is, a larger piece that actually still yeah. has the bullet in it. Yeah. That one might be a little bit questionable. Yeah, this is just but from a branch of the tree. We're talking this tree was so. it's huge. It was it was big enough to make a table or yeah. several tables yeah. from cross sections of it. I mean, it was a huge tree. So probably not. I, yeah, I, think, I don't you know what? Before we send it out, we'll run the K two over it just to make sure. And if there is, we'll we'll do a blessing on it. But there I don't think go. there. I don't think there is. Yeah. yeah. So, anyhow, um, <clears throat> they've been they've been selling them for a couple years now, and there weren't very many pieces left when I went in this time. No, no. The bigger pieces, there's not many left at all. Um, these littler pieces, there were probably about 30 of those sitting there yet. So I'd say by the time we head there next time, there probably won't be any pieces of it left. No, I, I, so, probably not. Yeah. So cool piece of history coming your way. That's yeah. very cool. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about the big one, the, the big, big giveaway. Yeah. Where are we at? Okay, we're getting close. You guys are awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you for everything you guys do for us, watching our videos, leaving those thumbs up, hit, you know, leaving the comments. It's great. Here is where we are at. 
Now, these are stats for the last two weeks because I didn't do it last week. We went live from the Farnsworth house, so I didn't have a studio to set everything up. So these are stats from the last two weeks, okay? So we gained 61 subscribers, which is cool. We're over to 1,000, but now we're, we're, we're heading towards 1,200, which is cool. Um, but our hours, we gained 196 watch hours with those live streams last week, which is pretty cool so again once we break the 4,000 hours and we become eligible to be monetized we're going to do that big giveaway we'll probably just have a whole show giving stuff away <laughs> now don't go getting that excited. well we got more of those uh <laughs> proposal posters we got more stuff from gettysburg i do have more you got things. more of those tree things and i do you know we got more we got little our hunter travel ghosties and t-shirts and and then the fifty dollar amazon card if not more it's gonna be great it's gonna be great sharing the love yeah so uh gone with the wet gone with the gale is here so hello, hello. hello. welcome 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 and virginia so, fisherman says that I, they're a relic hunter and they do some metal detecting just make sure you oh, don't cool. do it on national park yeah, service property park service. <laughs> okay so gone with the with the gale okay i, I need to mention this because i told you guys a little bit ago that i started doing those playlists she had posted a video that was quite interesting telling a paranormal story okay, okay so i started a playlist of other people's paranormal stories okay so that's one of them playlists so if okay. I find those videos or if you guys make a video telling your paranormal story please send us the link and I'll add it to that playlist and I'm gonna put those on our web page and put them out because that's awesome stuff now eventually eventually in the very near future like I don't very near future maybe next week don't know I'm going to get the second camera working, and we're going to start bringing people on and let them tell their stories. Okay? okay. I know of two that have agreed to come on the show as and tell their stories ready. as soon as I get the tech part working out. One of them is Cassandra from Pusha Studios, and the other one is Lady Borgia. They're going to come on and tell their stories, which is going to be awesome because they'll be Let's Talk Paranormal. There okay? you go. So those yeah. are going to be great shows. Um, we're not going to do like every week where we have a guest but occasionally we'll have guests on and you know we'll come on like today we're going to try a new game that Marianne came up with and well, this I think is just probably a, Parker Brothers or somebody <laughs> came up yeah. with it first this but. is just a show to have some fun you guys tell us some paranormal stuff we wrap up last week and tell you what's going on next week so that's why we pick Saturday it's right. going to end of the week and start in the next all right so let's see here so we're 42 minutes in already. I know. It's crazy. All right. Any creators out there, if you ever want to collab with us, we do not have to be together to collab. There are ways to do it without being together. And if you would like to do that, if you're creating videos and you want to work together on doing the collab, we got one coming up. I don't know exactly when it's going to be, but we have one coming up with uh, Yankee. Yeah? Yep. Pretty cool. We do. That's awesome. Um, and we're not going to be together. So we actually make the video and do All that. Right. But we've done other videos where we've talked about something and the other creator talked about something and we said, hey, go check their channel. That's a collab too. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, there's just look, we did a collab different... with Doodles with Doug and never, yeah. we don't even know what he looks like. True. Right? True. So anybody <laughs> who wants to collab with us, I love doing them. Just send me drop me a, a tweet yeah there's all kinds of different oh, ways you can do a collab you that's know, right you do not have to actually physically be in the room with someone to do a collab which is and really cool especially great, since there's so many people that are stretched across right. the globe it's a great way to for both sides to expose their channel to those particular communities all right before we move on again if you want to win that book for this week's show Send us proof of subscription to panicdvideos at gmail.com with the subject pound sign or hashtag. I should just say hashtag because it's the hashtag. <laughs> Used to call it pound sign. Uh, hashtag 017. And we'll put your name in the hopper for next week. What you oh looking my. for? Tracy wanted to know if we got the photo on Instagram. 
That Tracy, is that is you? Is that you? What, are you just sit around like that? That's <laughs> awesome. That's crazy. Do we have her permission to show it? Uh, I don't know. Because that's pretty She's, cool. She said she didn't think we would want to show it. I don't know. Are she you said kidding? We of course we'll show, show it. it. Let's see. I don't know. That seems to be like a while back. I don't know. Maybe she can let us know. Tracy, let us know if we could show it. Because it's pretty cool. Um, let's see what else. Family Shine Paranormal says that they will join live and talk about their story sometime. Okay, awesome. Yes, that would be cool. And Richard's dying to know if we've missed the motorcycles. No. <laughs> no, don't oh. miss them at all. Not really. You know, one or two oh. motorcycles is okay, but five to 6,000 of them was loud. Loud. <laughs> Uh, she says, yes, it's my other netwise known as. You can show it. So. Well, go ahead. Show it. Tracy. T-throg. T-throng. It's frog. There's no in it. Oh, it is. I always call her T-throng. Well, you're wrong. I know, but I've started calling her Tracy. <laughs> That's number That's two. That's twice in one day. <laughs> Three times wrong, you got to make dinner. Uh, you got to make dinner. You got to anyway. make dinner anyway. Uh <laughs> Uh, so I now know who Gone with the Gale is because I remember listening to this story then the other night. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You were listening. I was, I was listening. Um, and very cool stuff too, by the way. Into the Thank Woods you. with Wolfie said they forgot the oh, pa- hashtag of one seven on their email. That's okay. That's all right. You uh, just told us yes, that's okay. We'll me. put you in there. Let's see. M- uh, mark that down in the woods with Wolfie so I don't forget. You ready for your little thing? Uh, sure. All right, folks. It is that time again. You know what time it is. <laughs> it's time for Mary Ann's eBay updates. All right. So this week, uh, since we are going to be doing... Battle, paranormal battleship I thought that I would bring out a piece of a battleship that I own a haunted battleship at that I have a piece uh, of the wooden planks oops, uh, this way a piece of the wooden planking from the deck of the USS Arizona and there's also a little uh, vial in there of some uh, dirt from Ford Island in Pearl Harbor as well. Um, but that's my Hello. purchase there that I have. And I think it's pretty nifty. Uh, as far as I understand, they went uh, right after the sinking, you know, when they were trying to salvage as much as they could. They did bring up a lot of different pieces of things from on the uh, USS Arizona, and that is where uh, this is from. And uh, we haven't been there yet. We haven't been to this location. We ever go to Hawaii? We're definitely, definitely going, going to go. There. Yeah. Uh, right now, it was I don't closed know. for a while. I don't and I know thought it was has... closed forever, but then they came out and they said they just reopened yeah. They're, they oh, did they reopen? I it? think they reopened it. They okay. were stabilizing the, or they're working on reopening. They were working on stabilizing, other. but I don't know if they did. Uh, reopen yet or not yeah, but they were going um, to but there was some so. damage uh, and they were worried they were, about with the volcano and all that other stuff and they so they uh, were working on on some repair work there uh at the at the site of the uh uss arizona uh which they have the um platform built that you go out by boat and get on uh to go out and observe it from above and um, it is haunted, and I don't know. Someday we'll do a uh, post about that one. Uh, but we don't have that. We haven't been there yet. But there is a ghost of a... Uh, um, what do you call those guys? Sailor? Yeah, but the ones that are, like, important. Officer? Officer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not a I think that was three. No, I wasn't wrong. I just didn't know what to call it. So there's a difference there. I I need a little graphics going. (laughs) Ding. (laughs) Ding. So an officer who uh, is seen walking back and forth, and that is a ghostly officer. And something that 
kind of okay, is this... mean but isn't is not for for nature is that it's still leaking oil. Yes. You were telling me that before yeah. we went live. And it has enough oil in there to leak for another 500 yeah. years. Yeah. 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 About nine gallons a day yeah. is released. It's not good. Yeah. So. All right. So let's uh, do our shout out. One thing, too, if you're a certified pair of peeps and a creator, uh, we started doing this when we hit 1,000, is each week we are featuring uh, one of our creator pair of peeps. Uh, we're doing a shout out to their channel. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, this week we are featuring our shout out for ATJH Travels. If you are not familiar with their channel, please go ahead and look them up. Their link is down in the description. And go ahead and go over and comment one of those videos and say, hey, Panic D Videos said to come over and check you guys out. Um, they do some great stuff. Whoop, wait a minute. Whoop. What'd you do? I forgot to flip the screen. There we oh. go. Um, they do some. They do some great uh, uh, vlogging style videos of their travels of where they went, and yes. they just made a trip. All I, I couldn't do it. I they know. made a trip all the way from Pittsburgh, which is about an hour from us, all the way out to California and back. And they got footage all along the way and yeah. back, and some. They of went stuff to some really just, great places too. Yeah, it's great stuff they do a live stream on sundays and mm -hmm. it's 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 good fun and great videos so head over there and check them out and when you comment on the video say hey panic d videos recommended you let them know we we <laughs> sent you over there. So, I can't see the chat, Hannah, so I don't know what you're laughing about you could so hannah says to thank you oh, very much there, from her there dad you go. and right. uh uh, Tracy wants us to, when we go to Hawaii, to go visit that, that we pack her up with, with little Boris and take her. <laughs> okay. We have to get that miniaturization spell because yes. I'm sure there will be then, others that want to go as well. And then In the Woods with Wolfie says that Boris could hold a sign back there with the, you know, with the rights and wrongs. Oh. <laughs> bing, bing. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Sid wants to know about lizard people and if they really exist. I have not heard of tr any true lizard people. The only one that I came close to that was in that uh, uh, Spider-Man movie. <laughs> there was that one guy, that char one character that they turn in. He was like Are you a lizard person. Is he talking about the alligator man? I posted oh, it the could, picture oh, of that. Oh, that could be. That could be. I think that's just a piece of stone. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah, I don't. But it, w it was a sidetrack attraction. It's a sideshow so. attraction. Yeah. So the validity of some of that stuff is little. Yeah. Whatever. Well, there's there's a bunch of stuff in there that it's I'm kind of like, like the four right foot man eating chicken from the Little Rascals. <laughs> you know, it's a little four foot man eating chicken. Yeah. Tracy was born so. in Hawaii. No way. Wow. What that's took awesome. you? What took you to uh, St. Louis? Yeah. From Hawaii. <laughs> uh, That'd be cool if your conference was in Hawaii. It would be super cool if That'd my conference awesome. was it's in Hawaii. It's getting close, San Diego. Well, that's not it's close, still 14 but it's hours. for us. Yeah, still 14 <clears throat> hours from there. But devilfish was real. Yeah. They're, they're kind of... Oh, she was army an army brat. brat. Okay, all right. So, did you ever get to go to the USS Arizona then, when you were there? Oh, you're so welcome, Hannah. Yeah, no problem, no problem at all, Hannah. Please tell your dad, hey, you guys support us, and we we want to give back. So, glad to do it. That's right. That's what about right. the Illuminati? Are they real? Well, it depends on what book you read. <laughs> Seriously, I did do. I was doing some research on the Illuminati back when the um, those movies came out. Uh, I forget uh, the name yeah. of it. Yeah, uh, the ones with Tom Hanks in it. Yeah, they yeah. Ba they're based on those Dan books Brown books by Dan Brown. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know Angels and Demons is one of them, but yeah. um, I 
from reading those books. Actually, it was one code. of yeah, Da Vinci Code. Uh, the Da Vinci Code. Actually, we were on a road trip, and you read the Da Vinci I did Code. I read it to you, and because we like to read books and watch the movie and see, you know, because we're weird like that, see where they differ. You know, they're different, but um, so I did get some other books and some other research into Illuminati and you can find a book that says it wasn't true and to find a book that says it was true and you know so who knows you know but I do I will tell you this the Illuminati there was actually a bank that was established a worldwide bank and they believe that the Illuminati was the guards for that you know and it's it's a wonderful story the whole thing of it the protectors of the Holy Grail and all that you know stuff like that but you know was it true? Was it not true? There's just as much documentation historically that it was, and there's about the same that it wasn't. So it's actually interesting if you want to get into it and, and start doing some of that uh, research. Yes, Da Vinci Code. Okay, uh, so the movies always ruin the best books. Yeah, they do. A lot of times they do. A lot yep. of time they do. I love when we come across a movie and it is... You know, pretty close to being historically accurate, and we love the National Treasure movies. Yeah, I love those we because love there's them, so much in know. it that that you know ba is based in fact that you know it's really it, it twists you with your mind. Rosalind Chapel, it. that's, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah, I would love to get to go there at some point as well. So see, you know, like the Da Vinci Code is a little bit like the National Treasure, where he used actual historical things, like the Rosalind yeah. Chapel and things like Tied that. Tied them together. And then, you know, then you got people that pop out and say, oh, this is a bunch of garbage, and here's why, and all that. You know, have an open mind, folks. I mean, I don't... You know, yeah, that's the yeah. same thing with the, the TV show Timeless. You know, it just yeah. got canceled again. I'm yeah. really deeply saddened by that because I did love Timeless. Did any of you guys catch that, Timeless? You can actually get them on uh, Amazon. If you have Amazon Prime, you can actually buy them. But if you haven't, what? No, the next season. Oh, I was getting this. Oh, no, I didn't that know was if I was long or right. No, no. The <laughs> second season is going to come out on DVD in September. Well, we have too. it on Amazon We have Prime. it on Amazon, but if they wanted to do okay. DVD, but, too. Uh, if do you guys know what we're talking about? It's a, a series called Timeless. If you don't know what we're talking about, it's each, a, yeah. Each episode depicted a historical event, and they travel back in time. Yes, trying to cool. save changes from being made, that kind of thing. But we loved it because of the historical aspect of it, and just like you were saying, the the haters. You know, it was. It, I thought it was a really great show. Yes, there were things that were not accurate. Oh, we're missing all kinds of stuff in, but, in the chat. But, um, you know, people uh, so have to understand it's made for channel. entertainment. If you, okay, if so you do everything. Gone with the Gale has a video of Rosalind Chapel on her channel. I'm going to have to go check that out. Yes. Uh, Freemasons. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Freemasons are real. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the United States was built off by Freemasons. Half of the United States currency has a lot of, Mason uh, A lot of U.S. presidents it. were Freemasons. Yes. Um Love you guys too. Uh, nope, I don't know what that was too. What? What's that? Nope. Oh, timeless. Oh, no, timeless. No, timeless. Okay, I saw a few episodes. Yeah, the first season was better than the second. I agree. The second the one, second they were they trying were to not get canceled, more. and they got more of that romantic crap in there. I love the first season. Yeah, this so much. Better. Yeah, but but mm -hmm. uh, what we were both getting at was with those tying those historical aspects together with entertainment and people going, Oh, well, that's not true. Or that is true. And fighting about it. You have to understand, you know, entertainment value. Well, Sid, I'm going to tell you something right now. You don't yeah. have to, unless you want to email, that's fine. But, but you've been here almost every live stream. So I'm going to also bump you up. Well, I can't. Never mind. Why isn't that option there? Do you have it? Uh, I never have it, so... You don't have the moderator option? No, I don't have those kinds of things. Click the dots on Sid. Huh. No, I don't have that. Okay. Well, that's interesting. All right. Yeah, if you want to email us that link, Sid and Richard, I'm going to make you guys... Uh, I'll have to go back. But you guys have been with us since we've been live streaming. I'm going to make you guys mods. 
10 minutes in the Edinburgh video is what we want to watch. For yeah, I definitely want to check cool. that out. That's awesome. And in, yeah, in great. The, the first woods. season was yep. much better. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. I'm just going to throw this up again, guys, because, uh, you know, if you want to get our book, um, that's how you do it. We'll send you a free signed copy, which would make the value of that book go to millions and millions of dollars. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um, oh my no pics in inside Roslyn. Oh, really? I hate oh, that. Me too. It's <sighs> stone. What are you going to do to it? Oh, so sad, yeah. so sad. I, I love it when they let you. I do too, and like the uh, dye museum we were at, we and we always ask. Yeah. Okay, and we did ask one place that we went to. Hey, do you mind if we go back and get some footage because we're going to be featuring your place and doing some videos and stuff? And they told us no, so we're not doing that location, and I'm not going to mention their place. I will mention the item that. Somebody covertly got some video for me. Well, and I, but, but I'm we not going to mention where it's at. So, yeah, <laughs> but we, I told him before we left when they told us no. I said, fine, I'll just use the stuff that I have from the last time we took your your tours. Yeah, you know, but we did ask before we went in, and the dime store they're like, yeah, go ahead, and the kitty one that we're going to be doing, the kitty soldiers. Oh yeah, go ahead. You know, mm -hmm. I love it. Why not? Yeah, you know. Yeah, we were told at that one location. I'm going to vent a little bit because you guys are family. <laughs> uh, they, they said, absolutely not. We have a YouTube channel. We're putting our own stuff out. Well, obviously, they don't know anything about YouTube because uh, we have almost 1,200 or... subscribers. We could have helped them out a little bit, maybe. I went and looked their channel up. They had like 200 subscribers. So, you know what? They're lost. And we just couldn't go out back. And I wanted to interview the owner. I know she was there. And we've been there several times and spent literally hundreds of dollars at this place. And they were just totally rude with us. So guess what? Not going back again. Sorry. Vent over. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the people drop off on that one. <laughs> Everybody's getting kind of crumpy again. <laughs> uh. Gone with the Gale said that you can buy pics in the gift shop, though, and I said, of course you can. Yeah. I A lot of times, even if I do take pictures in the location, I still buy the postcards that have the pictures that they did as well because, you know, they had, like, the perfect angles and the perfect lighting, you know, when they set those up to be done, you know, and it's just not the same on that quick. <laughs> uh, said you're bitter. <laughs> well, I was a little bitter, you know. It's like, come on. In the woods, <laughs> if we're family, I guess makes, makes the weird Canadian cousin. That's we'll hey, take you. We'll take you. <laughs> we gotta all have those weird branches. What it, people think that I'm the normal one? <laughs> have you seen any of our videos? <laughs> have you seen any of the stuff that I have? Uh, mm. Have we got any ghosts in pictures? Absolutely. Of course we have. Mostly orb type things. Um, yeah. We haven't gotten any full-bodied apparitions or anything. We haven't even seen those with our eyes. So good shadows, good EVPs, which, by the way, is going to lead me to another announcement. Okay, um, Thursday, we're going to do it, folks. If you're free, 10 p.m. Eastern Thursday night, we're going to do a behind the haunting. Okay, let me <laughs> You're free. You're going to be doing <laughs> I'm it. I'm free. <laughs> okay. We're going to do the East Side. Uh, <coughs> East Cemetery Hill. <laughs> East Cemetery Hill. We're going to do the Behind the Haunting on that. We just investigated. Tracy, I think you were with us during that live stream. Uh, we're going to pull some of that stuff off. We're going to go over the recordings. We're going to talk about the history of the battle that took place there. We're going to talk about our investigation there. And then some of the things that we found out that we didn't talk about on the live um, because we did a little bit more research and something that's really quite interesting about that whole Rebecca thing that we got. Um, yeah, so that'll be Thursday night, and we'll share some of the um, stuff out of that live stream. I'm going to download it and piece it up and make a little quick video that uh, we'll put out there. So Behind the Haunting, Thursday night, 10 o'clock, will be East Cemetery Hill Behind the Haunting. 
So if you guys can join us, that would be great. If you can't join us, try to catch the replay. There you go. But we're going to go back to the late. The, the, the ones that we did at 10 p.m. where it's dark in here with the dark lights. And, yeah, that was that was much better. Yes. So. Yeah. All right. So unapologetically Gomez? Gnomes. No, no, there's no end. There's no end. Uh, well, anyway, hi. Gomez. Nice Unapologetically to have you here. Gomez. Are we saying that right? I don't know. Richard wants to know if I found anything to cook. So here's the thing. All right. So I went to the Jenny Wade house and I literally asked all their people, you know, do you have any of the family recipes from the Wades? And they're like, no. <laughs> like, and I said, you know, because I do this this piece, and, you know, I'd love to do that. And they're like, you yeah, know, we don't have anything. So then I went to the Farnsworth house, and I know that they have, a, they have a cookbook. And I found a couple of their recipes online already, so I planned on, on using one of those at least. Uh, so I go there, and I went to the, get their gift shop, and I said, I've looked around, and I don't see your cookbook. Do you have your cookbook? And she's like no we're out of our cookbook we thought we'd have more copies of it in by last month and they're still not here yet <laughs> and i'm like really and then then she proceeds to say my dad's the one who's printing them and i said we'll tell him to get on it i've been leaving here on sunday afternoon <laughs> and she's like oh okay virginia fisherman sad story about jenny wade yeah if that's what you said yeah it is a sad story yes. we're going to do a behind the haunting on, on that one as well that at one some too point. and tie in uh what's his name scully Skelly and Skelly Culp. and Culp, mm -hmm. and some of the places that we went to when we saw the graves and we went to Culp's Hill and Jenny White House and all that stuff like Farnsworth that. Farnsworth House. But there's a lot of that, and we want to take it some time and do it right. So we're going to do a behind the haunting on that story, yes, too. But um, it's not ready for next Thursday, right? Yeah. That, yeah. that that will take us probably a couple days to put that together. And I have a big RV sitting out in my driveway that I need to go do some work on at some point so we can take it out camping. But, yes. uh, yeah. So, um, did I, did we answer, Richard? Did I find anything to cook? I didn't get any recipes sorry, while I, I was there. You? you did, but it's okay. You mm. didn't. We didn't get any recipes while we were there, but I did find some recipes Stop, online, a, and I'm pause, on. Just a second. We got a question. Our email is going to pop up right above my head as this thing scrolls. It's panicdvideos <laughs> at gmail dot com. It's our um, there it is right there. Panicdvideos at gmail dot com. It's our channel name at gmail dot com. Okay, go ahead. And I am I am on the waiting list for the Farnsworth House cookbook when it comes back into stock. Uh, they actually have three books that they, four books. They have four books that they sell from the Farnsworth House themselves. Uh, I bought two of them last time I was there. I bought one of them this time I was there. And then there's that whole cookbook that's elusive. I remember seeing the cookbook when we were there in 2015 and saying, should I get this? Nah, when am I going to cook with it? And now I kick myself for it. But I am on the official waiting list at Farnsworth House for when that book comes back in. Joanne, are you saying hurry up with that? Are you talking about the RV? I, does Joanne know that we got the call from the driveway dude? No. He's supposed to be calling us sometime this weekend about getting it over there. So, <sighs> yep. can't wait. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, you haven't met Harvey yet. I put a picture out on Instagram, I think it was. And we actually have a Class A RV, and it needs a little bit of work on it. And we also own property that we were trying to build a house on, but it's just too expensive. So what we're going to do, actually, here's a picture of Harvey out in our driveway. So there's our... There's our RV. We call him Harvey. R-R-V. Harvey. I wanted to call him Spirit Chaser, but Marianne said no. <laughs> um, but what we're going to do is take that property and kind of put a private campground on it. So when we're not traveling with it, we could just go over there. And our laptop is set up. I didn't get it out on Farnsworth House, at Farnsworth House, when we went live from there because... Um, 
We didn't want to carry all the equipment in. <laughs> well, the bed was 20 foot up above that the too. thing, and I had to carry everything through the restaurant to get there and all that stuff, so we just did the phone. But my laptop is actually set up as a portable studio, so we can actually do the Saturday live streams from anywhere with the laptop. And we have a duplicate microphone and all that stuff like that. So, yeah, it's not going to be a big deal. We still go live wherever oh, we're yeah. at. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Into the Woods says the mystery machine. The mystery machine. Yeah. Yeah. I like Spirit Chaser because we chase the spirit. Richard says the Boo Mobile. <laughs> He's wanted Spirit Chaser since, like, we thought about getting it. Yeah, we go chasing the spirits with it. So, I don't know. Well, yeah. well that's yeah. just another little side project that we got on. Yeah. Going on, so. Yeah, Sid <clears> says <throat> it's too big. Yeah, it is pretty big. It is pretty big, and it's yeah. it's. A, I I told Marianne when we were bringing it home, I said, you know what? It's a starter one for us. We're learning the camping life. You know, we used a little bit last season. At the end of season, yeah. And we'll just use this as a starter one, and then once we get into it, because when we get older, we want to travel. You know, we want to get out and go to places and do stuff like that. And I think we might get a smaller one because I'm not real too keen on driving that thing on the freeway. I do pretty good, though, you around town. You did pretty good. You did pretty good. It's just, you know, you got to you gotta know how to drive those things because that tail end will whip out and smack a pole or whatever. And I did hit a tree branch on the way over here because it's well, up it's, higher. It was not your fault it's but what's literally messed up the tree is you're, was you're setting the windshield's like right here you know what i mean you don't there's no front and yeah. you're sitting up higher and it's wider you know it's takes a little getting used to but i do pretty good in the city i don't know about 60 70 miles an hour in that thing though yeah yeah i think yeah. a little bit smaller one might be more beneficial to that yeah. are we gonna try to play this battleship game or hey uh, we were we were having good <clears throat> conversations I, we yeah. would we don't have to play it we, we can so it's, what, it's up to you guys do you want us to keep just chatting or do you want to try to play the battleship game sneak out after she goes to sleep and paint spirit chaser on it she'll never know <laughs> Oh, Richard, don't t don't tease him. <laughs> he would do it. <laughs> I might do it. I just might do it. What do you guys want to do? You want to try to play this? How to play. Okay, well, see, that's what's in question. <laughs> so, for those of you... Marianne's going to explain it because she right. came up with the game. So, I don't know that everybody around the world plays Battleship, but I know in the United States and probably Canada, it's pretty big. It turns out it's Milton Bradley, by the way, uh, not Parker Brothers. Uh, but anyways, you have um, a, a grid box, basically, and uh, you put battleships on there. So you have like a cruiser and you have a battleship and you have a, I don't even know what the other ones are called. Um, but anyhow, you put those on there, and then you try to guess where the other person put theirs, and you try to sync them by so, getting them. So you guys and me will be playing against her. So the per first person, either her or us, that finds all the different spots wins, basically. So you guys tell yes. me which one to put on hers, and she's... And I'll guess what's ours. on yours. So you yeah. guys want to try it? We could give it a try and see. It's up to you guys. So Gone care. with the Gale has to run. All right. But thanks thank for you for stopping by. by. It's great to Appreciate get it. to talk to you. Uh, Sid said that he played on Facebook. Um, anyway, the only thing is we hadn't decided we were fighting over... <laughs> Let's just how try. how how we were gonna do the other part. I'll go out in the other room. You guys sit here and put your thing in. I'll go I'll put mine quickly. in. Then we won't see. So on your buildings. So you're putting it on. Okay. On, you're putting your buildings on your buildings. Yeah. Okay. But instead, tell them instead of ships, we're doing. Okay. Yeah. So instead of doing ships like in Battleship, she has house, theater, cemetery asylum or prison so those are the different things so if we get a hit then you we say you caught an evp instead of saying hit you caught an evp and instead of saying a sink you say uh, you caught a ghost 
oh, you caught a ghost in my house, theater, cemetery, whatever. So uh, basically, you guys are going to tell me the moves. I'm setting up our board. Making sure I have everything. Hurry up, you done? Yep. Okay. So here's our board, everybody. What's that? Wait a second. I'm showing them our board. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's our board. Okay. Yeah. Well, we can't show this to her, so I'm going to cover this up. And then you can't show me yours either. Right. I have a, I have a board for me. All right. Yeah. She's got a board. You got a board? Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Can I come in? Yeah. Come on in. All right, so yeah, you guys are going to guess, or not going to guess, you're just going to say, you know, a letter and a number, and then by whatever, um, whoever says it the most or whatever, or we'll try, see, we, this is the part we don't know how we're going to do this. I don't know if we'll do who says it first, or we just do pick one or whatever, but we'll figure it out. Our goal is to capture all the ghosts in her in her Buildings. locations, and, yep. and she might you know, that's how we're going to, so let's try it. So we're going to go first because there are guests. Okay. All right. So somebody give me a letter and a number. So, okay. Well, Richard says a, okay. So you go a, a through J and one through 10. Okay. That's what he was asking. Yeah. So there's, it's 10 by 10. It's a, it's a um, hundred yeah. block grid. Yeah. So it's a through J or one through 10. And I'll show you guys progress as we go through. All right, so here we go. First one is B4. B4, miss. All right. Oh, no, wait. That's a hit. I'm sorry. So that's, that's you an caught EVP. an EVP. All right. B4, I thought you said something else. All right, so, so your turn. B4, you got an EVP. All right, so I say um, E6. Woohoo, miss. Miss, okay. What do I do? Just I'm putting a dot. Out? I'm putting a dot if uh if it was a miss and an X if it was a hit. Alright, don't look at the camera. I'm not looking All right, at the guys. Camera. So what's the next guess? Ooh. Anybody just shout out a letter and a number. Do we still have people here? Did they all drop off? <laughs> <laughs> says you got 10 I know there's nobody chatting B5 B5 alright so Go Sid ahead. will do yours next okay so B5 B5 that is an EVP really yes B5 you caught an EVP alright go ahead uh, let's do B3 Miss. Hey, we're I doing suck good, guys. At this game. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Sid Hearth said E6. E6, miss. E6, miss. Okay. Uh, let's do G8. Okay. G8 is a miss. Wow. I really suck at this game. Okay, guys, look at our board. The X's are hits and the O's are misses. Okay? I don't know. I hope you could see those letters. This doesn't do well. Okay, I saw the paper come up, so I'm not going to look. Tell me when the paper goes down on the screen. Okay, so the next one is... Uh, okay, so I'm going to do Tracy's next. So Sid had F3. F, one, two, three, miss. Okay. F3 is a miss. Um, let's do I2. I2. Yeah. Miss. Miss again. I saw All right. So the next it. one, Tracy and Richard are saying B6. B6. That is a EVP. Wow. Okay. That must be a big one. 
Go ahead. Okay. Um, let's try C9. Miss. You suck. I do suck. <laughs> I'm like going all over the board trying to find something. All right, something. guys. What do you think? All right. Ready? All right. B3. B3. EVP. Wow. Guys, we're really good. Okay. Um. E1. E1. Miss. You guys got four, and I got none. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. We're, here we go. B7. B7. Miss. Let's go with uh, we got this, D10. Guys. We got this. D10. 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 Miss. Miss. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess this one, guys. <laughs> B2. B2. Hit. You caught a ghost in my asylum. Well, that's not even the biggest one. Okay. Caught a ghost in the asylum. All right. You did. You Your caught turn. a ghost in my asylum. All right. <laughs> Let's try D3. D3 is a miss. Do you, did you put anything on your board? Yes, I did. Really? Tell me, folks, did he really put any on his board, or is it, a, you know, all misses They're for telling me? telling you yes. <laughs> all right, guys, we got to go out hunting again. we got to find a new location. So go ahead and guess away. You're not looking at, well, you you can look at that screen. You can't oh, see I the can top the one. You can't see the top one. Okay. Actually, I'm going to fold it over. So <clears throat> what do you think, guys? Give me a letter and a number. Got to go hunting. Mm -hmm. J7. 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 You caught an EVP. Woohoo! J7. All right. Donnie Shaw Show. Hello. Hello, Donnie. All right. I pick J9. J nine, miss again. I haven't gotten any. So one thing that we want to do is we want to get a document camera. Yeah. And when we do easier. this stuff like this would work better. It would be much and better. And then we could do like Pictionary and stuff too. All right. What do you think, guys? Well, my finger's covering the numbers, but I think you could see it. Sid Hart says A7. A7. Miss. Miss. We should come up with another term for miss that's more paranormal. Like, you didn't get anything. Is there a word for you didn't get anything? Yeah. Panic D investigation. <laughs> miss. <laughs> Although we did get more, like, stuff in Gettysburg this time than we have in a Yeah, in a we, while, did. So. we did. We did. All right, let's see if I can find anything on your board. Um, let's go with A5. Miss. Oh, my gosh. All I've right. been all over this board. You've got to have something somewhere. Okay, Richard says I7. I7. Miss. Okay, your turn. Let's do... Donnie, we're playing Paranormal Battleship. So if you want to play along, when I ask for letters and numbers, go ahead and join in. I'll show the board before I ask again. All okay. right. I'm going to go with H4. H4. Miss. Man, you suck bad. <laughs> These people are good. Let's see. I did, uh, I did I7, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. J8. J. Cleansed for mist. Cleansed Ooh. for best. Cleansed. Okay. All right. J8 cleansed. Ooh. Okay, guys. Get the guesses coming. Okay. 
Okay, your turn. My turn? Okay. Um, let's do F4. F4. Cleansed. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I, like, not How even How is that one. even possible? You're, like, hitting all around, <laughs> you know? I want to go to war against you. <laughs> all right. Did I say C4? Oh, uh, C4? No. You want C4? Yeah. Cleansed. Um, I'll use C4 this time, too. Cleansed. Oh, my gosh. All right, J6. Can you possibly have anything on this board? J6. Oh, my gosh. J6. EVP. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? J5 next? I'm going to go with D7. D7. Cleansed. Oh my gosh. How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 misses in a row. What are the <laughs> statistics on that? 100% right. failure. So Tracy says J5. <coughs> J5. EVP. Okay, your turn. G4. <laughs> Cleansed. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we're going with J4. Oh, you can tell we definitely aren't cheating on this one. <coughs> <coughs> what are we going with? J4. J4. You caught an EVP and caught a ghost in my cemetery. Ooh, we got the cemetery. We're still looking for the big one, guys. All right, Sid Hearth, we're going to get yours next. All right, we're going to go, I'm going to go with I-6. I-6 is cleansed. Andrew wants to know what he won. He did win something. Andrew won a musket ball. You won a musket ball there, Mr. Kitchens? Musket ball, musket ball. All right, so Sid Hart says A5. A5. A5 cleansed. Who came up with that one, by the way? That cleansed. What, A no, cleansed. Uh, Tracy. Tracy? Your turn. My turn? D8. D8. Man, you suck. Cleansed. Really? Yeah. All right. So, Sid Hearth, E3. E3. Cleansed. Let's do C5. C5. Cleansed. You know, maybe it would have helped if I would have wrote them down on here. No, I'm just kidding. What do kidding. you mean? You didn't <laughs> mark any I'm on kidding. there? I'm kidding. It's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. Oh, it's a joke. Uh, all right. Good night uh, in the woods with Woofy. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. <clears throat> it was fun talking with you. All right. Is that our turn? I think it's your turn. You were right. making I'm fun gonna, of me. I'm going to guess one. I'm going to guess G6. G6. Cleansed. G6. Cleansed. Sid Hart, do you want to retract that? Because look where A4 is. I don't think that's possible. But if you want to keep it, I'll say it. It's not a big deal. I mean, it's not like we're running behind. <clears throat> Go ahead, dear. What are we doing? It's your turn. Aren't you picking? Them? Oh, you already went? Didn't I? Oh, who went last? I think it's your turn. I think it's my we'll turn. We'll give it to you. You're losing. <laughs> okay. Um, 
E3. Cleansed. Now we're going to take bets on whether she even gets one before <laughs> Okay, we I just laughed as I did it, and I drew a J on my board now. All right, here we go. A4. A4. Cleansed. Okay, your turn. D4. Cleansed. <laughs> You're just going to have an outline of where they're at. <laughs> Gotta get one sometime. J three. J three. Cleansed. B four. Cleansed. It's all good, Sid Hearth. You could go play with Marianne. <laughs> well, I was. <laughs> Uh, sorry, can't identify the ship. <coughs> uh, That's okay, Sid. They're not ships this time. They're e there are buildings. They're buildings. <laughs> e e five. E five. Cleansed. Oh wait, we get another one. We already have E five. You should have told me that. Didn't, I didn't we? I didn't have E five marked. Oh, I had it marked on here. Okay. Well, anyways, go ahead. Your turn. Um. F5. Cleansed. J1. J1. Cleansed. Okay, guys, I need more. Go ahead, your turn. I'm going to say F8. Look how. S don't look at the screen. Okay. How sad. What did you say? F8. F. <laughs> cleansed. All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, we did J1. D9. D9. Cleansed. You guys are starting to be like me. Oh, no, we'll find one. <laughs> we already got two of them, so. <sighs> Let's try... B seven. B seven cleansed. Seriously. <laughs> J ten. J ten cleansed. G ten. G ten cleansed. Oh We're definitely not cheating because she doesn't even have one. Said <laughs> <laughs> said don't be sorry, man. We're like we're like way ahead. Oh yeah, you guys way are like killing me. Way ahead. Is it our time? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna pick right in the middle. F five. F five. Miss. Uh, cleansed. F5, cleansed. Okay. H3. Ooh. Did I get one? So what did I say? You got an EVP? I, I don't know. EVP. It's been so long. I don't know what to say. I got an EVP. You got an M EVP. Yay, okay. I got one. All right. Oh, we got to get caught up now. <laughs> All right. F6. F6. Six. We gotta put our serious boots on. Cleansed. Okay. H two. H two. Uh, cleansed. cleansed. All right. Uh, did I say F six? Yeah. F ten. F ten. Cleansed. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to say. I three. <clears throat> I three is EVP. Okay. H two. H two cleansed. <clears throat> J 
G3. Caught an EVP. Okay, guys, I need more. Okay, G8. G8. You caught an EVP. Ooh, we got one. Richard, we got one. G8. G8. Okay. F3. 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 Yep, we got an EVP. Uh, G. I said G8, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. A. Nine. Cleansed. Okay. J three. J three. What is A's? I think you got our asylum. You cleared our asylum. I caught a ghost in your asylum. Caught a ghost Woo! in our asylum. All right. So did I say A nine? Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. G seven. G seven cleansed. Oh, it's my turn. It's your turn. Darn. We're on you. I'm sorry. Um, I gotta find another place to go now. Uh, let's try E nine. E9. You caught an EVP. <gasps> D1. D1. Cleansed. Okay. F9. F9. Cleansed. Bingo. The sheep says, bingo. Bingo. We're playing paranormal battleship. So <laughs> guess letters and numbers, and I'll hold the card up. So I'm, it's from A to you J guys, and 1 to 10. You guys and me are playing against her. Okay, so is it our turn? Yeah, I think so. H8. H8. You caught an EVP. Boom. Okay, your turn. E8. E eight E eight. You caught an EVP. I'm gonna go with I eight. I eight. You caught an EVP. Your turn. E seven. E seven. You caught a ghost in our theater. All right, guys, she's getting caught up to us. You she guys got two, we got two. two. What What do you say? What should we do? Need more guesses. It was about time I started finding something. I was like all everywhere and there was nothing. <laughs> G8. You already did G8. Oh, we already did G8. You did. Oh, I already did G8. F8. F8. You caught an EVP. Okay. Um, A7. A7. Wah, wah. Nothing. Cleansed. Okay. E8. E8. You caught an EVP. Ooh, this is the big one. <laughs> This is the prison. This is for the prison. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, let's try B6. B6. Ooh, you caught an EVP. Yes. All right, D8. D8. You found a ghost in my prison. All right. Okay, your turn. Where should we go next, guys? I say... I hate that, guys. Parapeeps. Where should we go next, parapeeps? C6. C6. 
six. C six. Yep, you got an EVP. Okay, we're going with. We already got I eight. I, I think I guessed it ahead of you guys. Yeah. It's our turn, right? Where should yes. we go next? I'm thinking somewhere in in this area over in here. C eight. Ooh, good strategy. That she stack them. Ooh, C eight. Cleansed. Mm. I did not. But we're still looking for that. <laughs> we're still looking for one that is two and one that's three. Two and one is three. The hardest ones. If mm -hmm. you guys ever ever play these things. Just keep guessing and I'll go in order. It doesn't it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. We don't have to wait. You can just keep guessing. Go ahead, your turn. My turn? Mm -hmm. Let's try D six. D six. Yes, you caught an EVP. Okay, guys, I'm waiting on you. Where should we go next? J4. J4. You already used J4. Oh, we already used J4. B4. B4. You already used B4. Oh, we already used B4. Trying to get closer. I think you guys can see that. Did we use D4? No. D4. D4. Cleansed. Okay, your turn. I'm going to have to say A6. 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 You caught a ghost in our cemetery. Woohoo! We're tied, right? Yeah, I three think we and are. Three. Three buildings and three buildings. Ha! I think we are. <laughs> um, J5. J5. You used that one. Let's make it H5. H5. Cleansed. Okay. Um, G6. 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 Cleansed. All right. Can you guys see that okay? So freaky trying to do things backwards. Oh, is it my turn again? No, it's ours. Oh, okay. Waiting for suggestions. F1. F1. Cleansed. Okay, your turn. Keep them coming, guys. B1. Keep them coming. B1. Cleansed. Okay, C10. C10. Cleansed. H1 Cleansed oh. Did we do C9? C9 Cleansed Let's do Oh I, I missed Sid Horse. Oh you okay. missed one? Yeah Let's do H7. H7. H. You caught an EVP. Yes. All right. It was an area there weren't too many dots in yet. <laughs> okay. C9. Uh, E8. E1. Cleansed. Let's try 
H6. H6. You got an EVP. Oh, guys, we got to get caught up here. Uh, let's try uh, F3. F3 you already used. I did? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did I use E3? Yes. I didn't mark it. Okay, so let's try G3. G3. Cleansed. Um, H5. Caught an EVP. Okay, so E1, we did A10. Cleansed. Okay. H8. Yep, caught an EVP. All right. Tracy says I3. Cleansed. Huh. We're looking for them little ones, those little naggy ones. I think that I'm it's either on a my three, way. it's either a three or a two, right? <laughs> yeah. Those are actually the hardest ones. If you guys ever played Battleship, those are actually the hardest ones to I'm find. I'm working on getting your prison. Yeah. I, I can tell. I'm going to go with H9 next. She's going with H, 9, and boom, you caught an EVP. All right, so F4. F4, you caught an EVP. Way to go, Sid Hart. There you go, buddy. Okay. Uh, H10. Yeah, H10. Yeah, you caught a ghost in our prison. <laughs> All right, guys. She just needs to find one more, and we gotta find I two have more. I caught up to you. She pulled ahead. All right. So C five. C five. Uh, cleansed. Okay. Think about where your last hit was. Just a hint. Um. I'm going by what they. I is. know. I'm, I'm giving them a hint. I'm going to say. Still gotta find the other one. J6. J6. Cleansed. All right, we're going to go with uh, E4. E4. You caught an EVP. Okay. <clears throat> go ahead. Um, I'm going to say C2. C2, C2, cleansed. All right, we're going to go with G4. G4, you caught a ghost in my theater. All right. We're tied back up again. We're both looking for our haunted houses. Those two. We're looking for the two ones. Oh, God. Paired, yeah. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so we're looking for the two ones, guys. Go ahead. Your guess. I'm going to say A3. Uh, covering up. Dang on. This sucks. What is it? A3. You already said A3. I didn't mark it. Well, I don't know. Okay. Um, how about E2? E2 cleansed. All right. So, oh, Tracy, you don't need to retract them. Um, Okay. Was uh, she retracted? Did we do F5? Yeah. Yeah. C4. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you guys are seeing this because we've done those. Here. I don't know if you're seeing the, the letters. Maybe. I think that maybe we need to make one of these that you can do electronically. I know. We need to, I need the right electronic program to do like, it. Like, I can do this part, but maybe so that they can see that part. Yeah. Maybe. All right, I'm going to guess, um, just for the heck of it, A1. Cleansed. Okay, so we know it's not there. Okay, go ahead. Okay, um, how 
How about A8? Cleansed. Um... Try C2. Cleansed. See what I'm doing, guys? I'm trying to fill in because we're only looking for a, a two one. Okay, go Let's ahead. Let's try A2. A2, you caught an EVP. <gasps> <laughs> E2. E2. Oh, we already used E2. Two. We used E2. Um, I'm going to guess... Um, where is this bugger at? Let's do F2. F2. Cleansed. <sighs> I think we just lost, guys. I think you just lost, too. I can't believe I that. I pick B2. You pick B2? Cleansed. What? Okay. I think I just marked it. He said F2. Um, take on it. Where's this thing at? D6. Oh, wait. I take that back. H10. H10 cleansed. Okay. A1. Yeah. We just lost, guys. How's that happen? The first 14. Ha! The first 14. <laughs> She missed. Look at all those misses. I win. I win. You guys made fun of me. <laughs> you, you, you win. You get to cook dinner. Oh, I That's thought if I want. lost, I got to cook dinner. Well, maybe next time we should do that. We, we play a game like that. Like we put something on there. Like whoever loses has to cook. But not this time because I didn't say it. All right. Well, what'd you guys think? I think that if... Did you guys like it, not like it, boring? We're trying to think of different games before we start repeating stuff. You know, we yeah. did the ESP. We did the Would You Rather. We did... What else do we play? I'm sorry. Don lost. Oh, no. That's fine. <laughs> no. Nah. No, this is all in good it's fun. All I good. think I think. You know, that... we just want to get on here and play games with you guys so yeah. we can rack up the watch time. <laughs> <laughs> so i think that if you have one of those screens that you can put a dot in every, or an x in every time like it's asked i think it would be easier for them to pick but i liked it how you did it where you just took the next one in line yeah the guesses the guesses work pretty good yeah yeah yankee how you doing there buddy Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We just finished playing Paranormal Battleship. Oh, so do you want to know where they were? Where what? my where my haunted house was? Sure. Where oh, D all the way on the D ten and E10. Wait, somebody said D ten. I thought we played D ten. No, you had D nine. Oh, we were close. Yeah. You were literally all around that one too. Yeah. It's all right. So how are you doing, Yankee? You having a good day today? <laughs> Did you get any storms out your way? It was supposed to rain all day today, and it didn't happen. I could have been out working on the RV, but... Yeah, could have. It was supposed to rain, so I didn't want to go out and start painting anything. i got to paint the windshield wipers and a couple other things on there, and I don't want to do that if it's going to rain. Right. So... <clears throat> Yankee says, good to see you. Tracy yeah. says, congratulations, Marianne. Yes, thank you. So, I don't know. What would you guys think? Don't like it? Did you like that game? Like Should we do it again some other time down the road if I figure out a way so you guys can see the game board? That, you know, I could probably make something. I could probably just have a graphic up and color in the boxes or something. I don't know. Probably figure something out. Okay. You got rain down there, huh? So Yankee, I think, is in Northwest Ohio. We're and in Northeast Richard's Ohio, and Richard's in Southwest Ohio. Okay. We Tracy says that's... we need sound effects. We need... <laughs> 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 sound effects. 
Sid said he liked it. Yeah, I got so much that I got so much to do. If I was if I was ten, fifteen years younger, I would have had a program <laughs> written or something in Flash where we could just click on it and like, you know. Oh, for I know the EVPs. Yeah, sound effects. Although we'd have to have them like picked in advance for you to do that. No, I could have wrote something because it's just a grid. It's ten by ten. So what numbers are hit, miss, whatever. <clears throat> Yeah, a bunch of Buckeyes yeah, in the house. Yeah, lots of us tonight. Oh, Richard's in Southeast. He's not Southwest. He's okay. Southeast. So we need somebody Southwest. Hangman? Yeah, we central. talked about doing a Hangman. We need that. Yeah, the Hangman. See, like Hangman, Pictionary, something like that. Or even this. We want to have the document camera. So yeah. I could just flip over and you can just see the paper and it has a light on it. Yeah. Yeah. Paranormal Hangman. That would be good. And then that way you guys can just... Yeah, I was thinking for next. I was thinking maybe next time we do a game, we could build Boris. Yeah, she wants to do build things with you guys, like maker stuff, like build Boris and build a coffin and build. Well, a build a coffin is the maker thing, but build Boris is just you know how like at, at like Christmas time they have like build a snowman and you roll a die, and you like get the numbers. And then you you add like it has a to nose be something interactive something like that. with them. Has to be something interactive with them, so they can't roll the die. You know, here's another thing too that we were thinking about, like with the trivia and stuff. Crossword puzzle. Well, even a crossword puzzle. There's a there's an app out there if you guys are willing to do this, and you could even do it on a web page, okay? And we could show the screen. It's called Kahoot, and the way it works is they use it at the school. It's a free app. It's a free thing, and the way it works is we put questions out there. And then you guys connect to the Kahoot thing, and then we say, okay, next question, boom, and it comes up. And it's like the old, if you ever went to, like, those sports bars and stuff and played trivia, you have so many seconds to, an to answer the question. There's, like, four, four answers. And then if you answer it the first, you get the more points, and then as the time, it tells you what it is. But it's called Kahoot. So I was thinking about doing, actually, when we did the Ghostbusters trivia night, I was thinking about doing that. But you guys would either have to get an app on your phone or go to the web page. And then we give you the number that you join in on it. And then we have the main control screen here. And then we could we could play that way. That might be fun one night. We try that. Like a paranormal kahoot. I was thinking uh, uh, of, you, got, you said, uh, Tracy, I think it was, says spirit memory game with a story after a match. Ooh. That I was thinking of something like Spirit Island, and we gave you clues as to a, a you know a spirit that happens to be there. Like all the spirits are on the island, and we're trying to figure out which one is which. And we have to come up with clues though, and give them to you, and you guys have to try to guess to see who it is based on the information. Should we tell them the big collab coming up, or should we wait? Um, well, we haven't really worked it all out yet. All right, we'll so. wait. Halloween guys. You guys are going to be blown away with what we got planned. It's going to be epic. If we could get it pulled off. We will. We just got to sit down and work on it. Yeah. Which Yankee, by the way, if you want to take part in that, <coughs> any creator that's out there, we want to get in. So we're going to use <laughs> other creators and do this big collab, and it's going to be, or I'll give a little bit away. It's going to be like a murder mystery. Yeah. Ooh. Richard says we're secretly teaching them stuff. <laughs> That's right. I am teaching you and you don't even know it. You just wake up and it's like, huh, I remember Panic D said something like that. Yankee says he has a haunted forest over by him. Ooh. Ooh. Haunted forest here. You guys ever come over this way? I'll show you around. Oh. <laughs> See, I got to get Harvey finished. We just know, be right? in there and we could just burr, pull right up and... <laughs> it's not a bad drive I don't Spirit think. Mon Go I think it's like Pokemon Spirit Mon Go See I never really I never got into got, the I Pokemon know, po I don't know Pokemon Yeah I, I don't I don't. Either. I've heard of Pokemon yeah, We don't have kids <clears throat> I've But heard I know of that Pokemon. Pokemon Somehow you follow it on the app And it's like there's a Pokemon somewhere or whatever. Yeah I don't know how Because remember works. we were set up somewhere as Yeah we were set up at a fairgrounds or something somewhere. Had our booth set up, 
and somebody kept coming into the booth and they're like oh there's a pokemon like right next to you <laughs> yeah and i'm like what? I'm like oh there's a what <laughs> a pokey what <laughs> pokemon it's like right next to you i'm like oh okay <laughs> they didn't they didn't buy anything or talk to us they just came for their pokemon and left <laughs> Very treasure, spirit of an Indian. Very cool, Yankee. That's up our alley. Yep. That would be awesome. Yep, yep, yep. Let me look over my slides. Go okay, ahead. Okay, make sure you I'm sure you don't. Stuff. Okay, let's talk about what we got coming up this week. I want to thank everybody who's like hung with us from the beginning. Mm -hmm. All right, so this week coming up, we're gonna get back into the location mode uh, a little bit. So Tuesday we got the ghost stories and folklore of East Cemetery Hill. Uh, Thursday, that's not right. We're gonna change that. So Wednesday, we might do the video of the Kitty Soldiers, because that's like right across from East Cemetery Hill. Thursday night, we're going to do the Let's Talk Paranormal. No. Behind the Haunting, Behind the haunting. of East Cemetery Hill. And then Friday, we'll wrap it up with the location video with the evidence that we collected there. And then uh, Saturday, we're back with Let's Talk Paranormal. But I don't know what we're going to do next week. Cool. So... <laughs> Create a recipe, we come up with the ingredients, and you cook it. Richard, who is supposed to taste it, buddy? Come on. That could make someone paranormal. That's right. It could send somebody over to the other realm. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> it don't leave that open-ended thing up to her, because, I, you know... <laughs> Wood County, huh? Wow, Richard, I thought you were my buddy. <laughs> Sean could be the guinea pig. <laughs> Let's just say he didn't like the schmear case. I tasted it, though. You tasted but it, but you didn't like care it. for it. It didn't taste like anything. Maybe you would put sugar or something in it. I did put sugar in it. Not enough. The required amount. Brownies were awesome. Yes, you liked the brownies. Like the brownies, but <laughs> Richard says the first ingredient is chocolate. <laughs> well now, you can't go wrong with chocolate. And I was thinking too, those brownies are gonna be disgusting with apricot on top of them. I know. But it was pretty good. Yeah, because it was only a little bit. Like you know what I mean? Even yeah. if we would have doubled the amount of apricot, I don't think it would have been. I missed on those live streams that we we were uh, did in Gettysburg where we could just okay let's just take the camera and show you what's going on we can't do that here can't grab that camera it's like permanently fixed well temporarily Ugh. permanently fixed chocolate and fish is that what it, I just <laughs> yes saw? chocolate fish chocolate covered fish <laughs> uh, I never played Pokemon Go either. <laughs> Did it have anything to do with chocolate fish? <laughs> Boris, what do you think? Chocolate fish? Maybe that's how Boris ended up like this. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm just not feeling the chocolate fish. Although, people think it sounds crazy, but I used to sell a ton of them chocolate-covered potato chips. I used to sell them all the time when I was retail people would come in and get them and i'm like oh be revolting but maybe chocolate fish is the next new thing <laughs> so do you guys want to play another game next week or you want us to talk about something else that's not gettysburg related or um uh, you know we could try to get somebody on and get their story i don't know I don't know what we're going to do next week but we will be live at five for we sure saturday and thursday night at 10 p.m Behind yes. the hunting. Yes. So. Your suggestions are welcome in the chat and or in the comments later. Salty things and chocolate go together pretty good. Are you saying we need to get a salty fish? Because I think bacala or something like that is a very salty fish. 
baklava? Not baklava, bakala. Bakala. Yeah. Is a fish? Yeah. That's salty? I think it is. Dipped in chocolate? <laughs> Yo game. Is that what that? Uh huh. So do a game. Don't have to win. Oh, you have to win. Sean has to win. Oh, I have to win. The Donley man has to win. <laughs> you could go to Devil's Baked Oven. Young lady spirit haunting from a broken heart because her dad sent her off, sent off her love, and he was killed in a boiler accident. Nice. Where's that at? Devil's Baked Devil's Oven. Baked Where's oven. that at? You eat it and I'll watch it. <laughs> you mean the chocolate fish? Do I have to do the taste live now? That's. <laughs> We tasted the brownies live. Yeah, but not the other stuff. It didn't make it to the live stream. No. <laughs> Where's the devil's bake oven? I've never heard of that before. Mm -mm. Reminds me of like devil's food. Baked. <laughs> so Yankee, have you had any experiences being out there on your camping adventures that are interesting? You could just say yes or no. Just anything strange that happened? Who's a very good cook? I know you don't mean me. Oh, you're a good cook. <laughs> it's just some of the ingredients sometimes don't go together well. <laughs> I don't know, but I thought that was very cool. The, the homemade cottage cheese. It's just milk. You bring it up to that temperature and throw vinegar in it and boom, cottage cheese. That was there was one thing that you did in that that you said that you didn't do or you skipped. You add a little bit of salt. The salt, but I thought you said there was something else the way you oh, let it cool or something. Yeah, they say that other recipes that I've seen have said to leave it cool. Um, once you boil it, leave it cool before you drain. Before it. you drain it, so, it would so clump you get up more better. curdles. Yeah, but that was really cool. Yes and no, strains most of the time takes place in our imagination, and there's a lot of things left unknown out there. That is true. <clears throat> that is true. Especially if you're out walking in the woods alone, and you hear, like, any little animal scurry by and crack a, a twig or something. Yeah. That could mess with you. Could mess with you a lot. All right. So... Things to do next week. Looks like they've Sid wants another game because you have to win. You have to beat me. <laughs> we got to come up with some other games. Yeah. We're trying to think of games that we could do with you guys that you could see and participate. <laughs> if we, you know, we could go to Cleveland and take the losing curse off of them. <laughs> what? Oh, maybe you can go to. If you're talking football, no, I'm a Steelers <laughs> fan. <laughs> if you're talking baseball, it, that'd be nice. I, I kind of gave up on baseball back there when Tommy and all of them were, when they first opened the stadium. I was following the Indians big time, and you know I thought this is it. This is the this is the season. And I was really into it, and we went to a couple games and things like that, and then they just couldn't do it. They just couldn't pull it off. Where were we at when we were watching the game? I don't remember. Was it One Chicago? of my biology no. conferences. When they were in it, not this season, but last season, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. So two years ago. Were we in Denver? We were somewhere. Someplace. And we're rooting. Well, I, Mary Ann just I said, sir. Less. I'm rooting for the Indians. And they, I think they were playing the Cubs. Maybe they were playing Chicago. And everyone's rooting for Chicago, and I'm like, I, I'm, I better shut up or go up to the room because I was about ready to get beat up. Yeah, like literally the whole place, everybody <sighs> was for the other team, and yeah. we're like little Ohio was, people sitting here going, I think, it was, I think it was Denver. I think it was before we went up to the Stanley. You think? Yeah. Could be. Huh. Let's be honest. Animal mating can make some crazy sounds. Yeah, I agree <laughs> with you. We got... We live here in uh, uh, Mill Creek Park, so we get a lot of a uh, lot of weird animals that you wouldn't think would be in the city. You know, yeah. like turkeys and uh, deer and um, 
cats. Oh man, the cats mating outside. It's t- what? What did you say was out there mating the other night? You hear them all the time. Raccoons. Raccoons. Oh jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Tracy. Were we in St. Louis? No. That? No. 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 St. Louis was kind of a crazy trip for us because we had the split hotel room. Yeah. I think it might have been Denver because I had been to that hotel before. I think before. it was Denver. I think it was Denver. Yeah. We were there before. It was the Denver hotel. <laughs> Can't hear the frogs today. <laughs> well, the sun's still the out. The sun's still out. Give it, some, give it some time. Give it some time. Thursday night, if you can... Well, that's kind of late for you, Sid, isn't it? What time is it right now, Sid, where you're at? Is it morning there? Too cross mating. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it is quiet today. It's very quiet. There's not even people no like birds. cutting their grass or anything. I know. It's like I could go take a nap. Four it's four forty in the morning. A.M. Oh you my serious? gosh, <laughs> Sid! Why aren't you asleep at this Holy time cow. of the day? Not that we don't want you here, but like, oh my gosh! What's the date? What's the is date? It t- so it's tomorrow, right? So it's the twenty second for you. So yeah, is it the twenty second for you? So Sid won't be joining us Thursday night. <laughs> well, it'll be oh, wait, normal. It'll be like breakfast time for him. <laughs> yeah, what time is it now? <laughs> it's seven eleven. Yeah, so it'll be like seven eight o'clock. So ten. Yeah, it'll be breakfast time. He'll be getting ready for work. You're it's... getting rain, Richard. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's like cleared up. The wind was blowing right when we started the live stream. I was a little bit nervous, but. Um... Then it's like it's like dead silent. I don't even hear birds. You hear birds? No. I don't even hear a cricket. And that's weird. Weird stuff like that. It gets real quiet. You start thinking, hmm. <laughs> yeah, so it's tomorrow there, so it's already Sunday morning for him. Wow, that's just nuts. You're awesome, Sid. I can't believe you get up for us. Richard needed the rain for his plants. You know what? I have some plants outside that are probably going to be happy if it actually rains here, too. It was supposed to rain here every day for a week. And it rained a little bit yesterday afternoon, and it just looked like it was going to rain all day today. All right, Yankee. See you later. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Yeah, thanks. Nice to, nice to hear from you. I am like a minute behind the video and chat. Really? That's a minute. It, Tracy. Wow. That's a full that's a long time, a full minute. That it makes it hard to play games when you guys are like delayed. Yeah, and it's like every every week it's a different location that's delayed more. You know what I mean? It doesn't seem consistent. I wait for this day all weekend. I can't sleep. <laughs> Sid's like a true fan. He's man. a true pair of peep. Tracy said she got off Twitter because it kept giving her the bird on her phone. <laughs> the little blue bird. I get it. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Create a haunted house. Well, if I get my order allowed. (laughs) She's going to create a forensics house. Not too long from now. Yeah. Uh, For my classroom, I always build a house in the corner of it for my forensics class. And I murder people in there all the time. And uh, then the kids have to figure out what happened and so on. But I... I've always done it out of cardboard. This year I'm going to give it a frame. I'm going to make it, I think, out of uh, PVC this year. What do you think? What do you guys think uh, about trying that Kahoot sometime? Uh, you guys want to try that? Because even if there's a delay in the chat, it'll still come up 
Don't it still show them the questions? Like, so when we trigger, okay, here's the question, or does it just show them the answers? I don't remember. It shows them the question when we push show the question. And then it, has, then it has a specific length of time, yeah. Because then that Show would the fix answer. that delay. Yeah. I'll have to play with that some more because I thought it only <laughs> showed the four possible answers. It doesn't show the question. I'll have to see if it shows the question. Because once we hit that button, oh. even if there's a delay in the chat, it'll come up on that app mm. real time when I hit that button if the question comes up. Mm. I'll have to look at that. But I've yeah, seen I other YouTubers, it. you know, because you got to watch sometime when you do things that's outside of YouTube, you know, whatever. I don't care if we get monetized or on those live streams or whatever. It doesn't matter. But um, I saw other YouTubers doing Kahoot. Like I, I went on YouTube and searched for Kahoot so I know it could be done, mm. you know. And I saw when uh, Joker was trying to do the Family Feud thing. It, it just wasn't working right with PowerPoint, you know. Mm -hmm. I like doing games with you guys. I like playing games. Like I said, and you guys have heard this several times, we don't have kids. So <laughs> it gets kind of boring when her and I just playing with, you know, games. We do it when we're camping. What's that one game we like playing? That new one Sequence. We just got? Sequence. Yeah. yeah. I just got a new game, too. I don't know if I told them or not. The Donner Party Dinner Party. <laughs> The Donner Dinner Party. If yeah. we could figure out a way to play with those guys. Yeah. You know, yeah. I was thinking about, too, doing an internet uh, scavenger hunt. Like, we give a certain clue, and they have to go somewhere on the internet and find it, whatever, and bring something back. Or something like a, like a cipher. Ooh, like you go to a certain web page, you got to find the page, tell us the second paragraph third sentence fourth letter and you first person to come back and put the correct letter in gets a point or something like that mm -hmm. that might be fun can you use it on a phone yes actually yes you can use kahoot on a phone yeah. they have an app for it because <clears throat> the kids at school do it or, or the teachers and the kids at school I don't use it Mary it annoys it. me she's grumpy it it's, does have some for music. me for me Kahoot is like the SP7. <laughs> I have to turn it the audio off because it has this this music that it plays and it annoys me. <laughs> I walk down the hall and sometimes I hear it and I guess when other people are using it. <laughs> yeah, Use your website probably, for that game. We she could says. probably do something on the website. Yeah. Where we could release it and then you answer it, and then it'll come back and tell us. You know, I know a programmer. <laughs> maybe, I'll, maybe I'll, yeah. I think that'd be fun. We like putting together those kind of things, and yeah, I like that we turn them into paranormal too, if we can. It's like a ghost hunt. Yeah. But this time, everybody always gets something. They always catch something. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. What else? Anything else for the good of the order there? Where in the world is Boris? Try to find him. So he went on a trip without us. Is that what you're saying, huh? <laughs> What if we did something with pictures? Something with pictures. Okay, so you take a picture of Boris on a green screen. Uh-huh. Okay? Uh-huh. And then we take a picture. Uh-huh. And hold the picture up with Boris there. Where's Boris at? So now we're going to, you know, have to, like, find some pictures of locations that are free and legal, huh? We have 170-some thousand pictures. You don't think we could use any of our pictures? Well, I'm sure we can use some of our pictures, but, you Like know. standing in the uh, place, uh, the Appomattox Courthouse. Well, all right, I get you. Standing in the okay. Library of Congress. Okay. Standing. All right, I get you. Okay, yeah, we can do that. I can put him on the screen. Where's screen. Boris? Where's Boris? What do you guys think about that? Where's Boris? Where's Travel Boris? And then we, we could put him on pictures. You just got to do a green screen. Yeah. I board, could do that. Which we need to do some green screen pictures anyway. I told you that for us, for our thumbnails. 
He likes to do those creepy ones. Well, I like to have the our ones, face on. I like to get do the ones where I just do a selfie of us there. But we do forget every now and again. Well, some of them I can't use because they're too far away and it blocks everything. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice if we're together and then I can move it around. I see. Just saying. Okay. Where is Boris? I think they like that idea. What do you guys think about that? What Sid's saying and what I suggested is is we, we put together a game with pictures with uh, travel Boris and you have to guess where he's at. We show the picture. Yeah, Richard and Sid seem to like that idea. Of course I have a green screen. I have about 10 of them. <laughs> we have a business that does green screen photography. Yeah. And I and Tracy, <laughs> I take I take a green one of the green screens to school with me every year and I do this project with my kids. I do two different ones and so with two different classes and one of them uh they they do video and they make par um, uh, public service announcements to save sea turtles. But the other one, uh, my kids, um, it's a genetics activity. So they make beaker babies. And I marry them off so that I make them take a picture together on the green screen. And the next day they come in and there's all these pictures of all the kids. And I've got them all married by Elvis. And so I put the Elvis in the background, marrying him at the at the chapel. And then when they have their little beaker baby, then I have little pieces of paper that are um, babies that I put in beakers. And then they stand there and hold them together with their birth certificates. And then I put them like in a nursery and stuff. It's really kind of cute. They don't care. Yes, they do. Tracy says she's sending her son to my class. <laughs> okay, so Tracy, this picture we showed earlier... That picture Which right one? there, I don't know if you could see it. I'm looking. Which one is it? But there's a trailer that sits in the back there. See that trailer? Oh, I know which one you're showing. That trailer actually sits out in our driveway, but mm -hmm. that trailer is actually converted to be a mobile computer center. So before we got into doing our channel, and we actually still do it sometimes, we could take that trailer out to, like, um, you know, events, fairs we did car shows things like that we take that out and then we open it up and we could do a green screen photography and while we're on site and this is why we do shirts and stuff we have all the equipment to do it um we could do uh take your picture and put it on a poster a t-shirt a button a keychain four by six wallets uh we were doing mouse pads coffee cups all that stuff that's all in that trailer and that's one of the businesses that we did in the summertime we ran around and and did that then we got burnt out from doing that stuff mm -hmm. so we have still have all the equipment that we can do all that and that's why we we basically do our own merch is because we have the equipment that we can make it and we figured out how to make it so um yeah yeah so you get one of those ghosts so we have another machine too in another business where we actually put pictures on live roses photographs but Marianne can also use the machine to stamp on other things. other things. So, like, here's a ghost. We get this little ghost, and they turn on. Turn it on, and then stand them up. The little ghost. But see, it says, Our Haunted Travels on it. So Marianne used the machine that puts the pictures on roses and made a plate and stamped it on the plastic so it's actually like permanently on there she did made some candles too it says our haunted travels so that's how we make our own merch yeah different machines we have a whole bunch of so we could do clothing things. we could do t-shirts polo shirts <coughs> sweatpants sweatshirts hoodies all that stuff because we have a vinyl cutter. I did have silk screen at one time, but it's a mess. I hate doing silk screen. And then we have a heat press and things like that. So we, we don't we don't have kids. Yeah. I keep saying we yeah, don't so have we kids, just buy so toys. we just buy toys. Yeah. Um, so Richard says we should do a Harvey walkthrough tour. So we can do that one day. Um, and then um, T Tracy says we could do merch for other tubers. Uh, Sid says that that's a cute toy. <laughs> Well, this will be in a, a future giveaway at some point, so maybe yeah. you'll win one of those one day. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, we need to do a Harvey walkthrough. I was going to wait until we either got it to... A location when we're doing... Yeah, either a campsite or over on the property. And then I'll do a, do a vlog type video or something on that. Um, but at some point here in the future, the near future, we're going to be going live from in there. Mm -hmm. Because we're, we're going to be out camping. We won't be here in the studio. So we'll have travel travel bores with us and we'll be on the laptop and then um we could get, we could do a walk through with that we might be at a campground we're, we're thinking about going to campground for a month well Maybe. we won't be staying there the oh, whole no, no, month no 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 we, we won't be staying the whole just, time i gotta go back to work at some point but yeah. just something that we could just get away and okay monday tuesday we're gonna be out there and come home and yeah, someplace close. Yeah, we'll see. He's been wanting to do that, but I don't know. There's actually a campground between here and work. Yeah. And I, I don't know if you guys heard me say so before. It we work on... 28 miles, or we live 28 miles from work. So there's one that's actually eight miles from work. So when I go back to work, it's the 1st of August. It's still summer out, you know. Yeah. So if we get a campground there, instead of coming all the way back to Youngstown, I could just go to the campground. Marianne can meet me out there. Why not, right? <laughs> Tracy says, I've seen that look, Marianne. <laughs> yeah, but he's he's been wanting to do that so that, you know, he didn't have to rush getting the driveway put in at the property and stuff like that. But I don't know. A month seems like a really long time to me, but then maybe it's not. I don't know. But we it's wouldn't be weeks. staying there. We wouldn't be staying there the whole time, though, which is fine. <laughs> I'm not a big camper. That's not really camping in that thing. I wish we could take this camera out there and show them. Yeah. Inside. The, the outside's a little, it's a little It rough. needs a little love. Yeah. You know, that's why I was saying about making it the pretty. spirit camper. Since we have the vinyl cutter, spirit I could chaser. take spirit chaser. I could take all the graphics off and then I was going to try to re the fiberglass, get it and put my own graphics on and call it spirit chaser and do that kind of stuff. Oh, I had all these great ideas. He did have lots of great ideas for that. Yeah. Then I got sick, so now it's like, <clears throat> okay, I'm still getting my health, my energy back. As soon as we brought it home, I started ripping stuff out, and then I got to go to a hardware store, and I haven't made it over there yet. I know. But then the rain hit. And then so. it was supposed to rain, and it didn't rain yet today. Yeah, it's not really camping, because it's got a double bed. It sleeps six, right? Yeah. It's got a stove, an oven, refrigerator, bathroom double bed yeah tracy says that's right it's not camping yeah yes it Clamping. is it is the sink is tiny <laughs> i wanted to take out the tv and put in a 32 inch flat screen walk in the woods with a tent fishing pole knife and a beer camping <laughs> yeah yeah. That she um, has said absolutely that's not. That's a we've 100% tried it, no. We've tried it three times. And every time it's been a disaster. The first time, I don't know if we've told you this before. If we have, I apologize. But the first time we went, it was Memorial Day weekend. And it was like 20 degrees. It was so cold. It It literally dropped below freezing when we were out. Which, by the way, Harvey has a furnace. <laughs> so if it drops cold she's like it's cold in here so i go flip a switch and it runs off a of propane heats up the second time we went camping, and it has air conditioning too the second time we went camping it was a monsoon and it rained for like 18 hours straight Yeah, that was horrible it was ridiculous we were with dark shadow ghost tours we were trying to do a thing called camp fear because close to, and you know what, uh, Richard, you might know where this, do you know where Beaver, um, it's not Beaver Falls, Beaver Creek, Beaver yeah, Creek Beaver Park Creek. is, it's just, uh, probably about five minutes north of East Liverpool, if you know where I'm talking about, um, two chicks crew, hey, how are you doing, um, so Beaver Creek, there's, there's a lot of paranormal stuff that goes on out there, and like a mile, just maybe a little over a mile hike back into the woods. There's a lot of Bigfoot um, 
reports there in that area. It's along a river, and then there's there's the locks from the Erie Canal. Right. And then one of the locks is like, well, two of the locks are really haunted, and you know, there's all kind of stuff in that yeah. area. And, and right above the hills where they captured Pretty Boy Floyd, you know, that whole area. So we wanted to do like a camp fear where we had things scheduled, like we rented the whole area. It's tent camping. And then we had things scheduled like at 11 p.m. We were going to take that hike out and do some ghost hunting and do all this stuff. Had everything lined up and it was free. It was free. You just come and do it and have fun. It was like giving back to the community for Dark Shadow Ghost Tours because we got really big and huge. It was just going to be a fun time. We got there the di- the night before because the, the we whole crew, crew, we were just having fun, cooking out, whatever, you know, checking things out. At 10 o'clock that night, it started raining. And we got up at 7 a.m. and it was still raining. And all the trails, everything, everything was washed, was out. washed was out. You horrible. couldn't get back there. Mud everywhere. All of our tents, equipment, everything's pouring down rain. It was just horrible. And then people were starting to show up like at 1 o'clock. And we were just turning them away because it was still raining. It rained till like two, three o'clock. It was not fun. Then we had to put everything wet into the cars, come home, wait till it stopped raining, get it out, put it out in the front yard, let it dry out. It was Camp Fear was a bust. Yes. But and the third time it was time, a good concept, but it just rained like crazy. The third time it rained again and this time there was a big storm and there was a tornado watch. Yeah, big wind storm. It's horrible. Broke the tent pole. I said, nope, not again. Mm-mm, it's not going to happen. So now we have Harvey. Now we have Harvey. <clears throat> <laughs> we had fun with them last year. Towards the end of last year. Yeah, we, we got them at, at the, in September, actually, last year is when we got it. But that weather we had in the October, we went out with them. A um, couple weekends. Yeah, we had a great time. <clears throat> yeah. It was fun. Relaxing. Yeah. Except for the tiny little TV. It's this big. <laughs> that big. And he's one who has to have his TV. He freaked out the other day when we were staying at the Cash Town Inn and there was no TV. I I think that the ghosties would come and talk to you more if you don't play with your TV at night in the room. But that's just me. <laughs> I like to put something on to wind down. I know you do. Now it's YouTube. I put YouTube videos on yep. on the TV. Yeah. So. <laughs> <sighs> oh, goodness gracious. So two chicks, you, you missed. We were playing uh, Paranormal Battleship. Yeah. So instead of ships, we had haunted buildings like uh, prison and asylum and cemetery and house and what was the other one? Theater. Theater. So we did that and we were playing that against... You guys were all playing against me, and I was losing bad, and I came back for the win. (laughs) She did. She came back. I did. I came back from devastation. (laughs) It was so bad. Your TV is never on unless it's YouTube, Tracy. That's pretty much how ours has been. Yeah, we either do... um Netflix or Amazon Prime or YouTube or there's a couple shows that we watch on sometimes. I, I hate watching regular stuff. but So Two Chicks has a bunch of kids over there for a sleepover. Good luck. So do you have a bottle ready to open? <laughs> and Richard says next is going to be create a recipe. So, so, so the horrible. thing is, Richard, about those recipes that we're doing, you guys were supposed to make that stuff yeah. with us and then come back and tell her what you thought about yeah, it. Yeah, you guys were supposed to so do that. I have them. yet to see anybody tell us anything about the brownies they made or the schmear case. I know. We gave you all the info. <laughs> <laughs> we were, I thought we were all going to eat the brownies together. On You know, you guys were going to eat them on your side. I was going to eat them here. Nobody said they made them. I didn't know so much about the schmear case. I didn't know who was going to really do that, but. That was just cool seeing the cottage cheese. Seven. 
Seven Are they kids. boys or girls? Wow. I hope it's girls, because boys get really, really <clears throat> rambunctious. Girls just get high-pitched. <laughs> so Tracy, Richard, uh, I bet you Sid Hart fell asleep. Oh, I'm sure. But, you know, it's so early any of you guys, if, if, did you, if did you get a chance to catch our latest video about the oddities and curiosities? What did you guys think about that? We want to buy it. Yeah. We want to buy that museum. That would be awesome. Yeah, he said I don't know that what I, the deal is. He's closing it in November, yeah. but I, I don't know if it was like he lost his lease. Like, I know well, he doesn't own he the was, building. He was but, saying something about his daughter was going to be done with school, and so there wasn't really a reason for them to stay, and it wasn't like the you know visitors to the shop were like astronomical making him a million dollars. So, um you know, I would have made a few different changes, you know, like be open more than one day a week. It kind of seemed like they were living but, upstairs because you yeah. couldn't go upstairs of it. Yeah. But that would be cool. Have a little apartment up there and just hire Creepy somebody to run it during the week. And then when we come in, we get a place to stay. Yeah. Grandpa Boris. <laughs> no, that's a comment he left. Grandpa Boris. Yeah. Now I remember yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So Sid we have this he's thing. not asleep. Okay. So we have something going on on our YouTube channel. I think this, there's an audit or something going on because that video, it's always been my goal for the last, I would say, four months to have videos break 100. In the Okay, so this is what Yankee was telling me earlier. You want your video to break 100 in the first 24 hours and 300 in the first 48 hours, and then it gets thrown into the logarithm for search, and then that's when it just can take off. If it doesn't do that, then they throw it in the back burner, and then eventually it could come up. So we have one video that's actually, out of 265 videos we have out there, we have one video that's actually being part of the logarithm, and that's that Lawson one. I get comments just out of a blue, you know, on that. Lawson so that video murders. did hit that mile marker. So there's something going on with our channel since we hit 1,000 that's kind of weird like it capped off that video the, the oddities video at 68 bam for like it had to have been 12 hours and i know people was watching it but it didn't go past that i don't know what it is i, I it's just strange and then didn't you say that some of the views disappeared on it too then after that that was the one with travel bores travel, travel bores yeah. stopped at 59 because i'm thinking Oh, wow, this is kind of cool. It's going to hit, you know, 60, 70 views. And it stopped at 59. And for the longest time, I kept sharing it on Twitter and going out. And I know people were watching it, but it wasn't getting additional view numbers. And then it went from 59 to 52. I looked into that before because PSPR was having a problem like that with some of his views dropping mm -hmm. and just out of the blue. Like, wh why are they taking views away? And there's an audit program that runs... And it's so that they, you know, they don't, people don't fake views. Well, I, like I got time to fake views or even know how to fake them. But um, that they run this audit and it will freeze your views for so many hours. Hmm. So even when people are watching it, it doesn't go up. Well, that's sad. Yeah, it sucks actually. So Tracy wants to know what tags you used. And Richard said he's had some of his subs to channels disappear for some reason. Yeah, there, which that's it's happened this, a lot lately yeah, too. Yeah, this audit thing is it's doing it, and I don't know why they do it on the smaller channels. I, I really don't know. Small. I mean, even with a thousand subs, we're still a tiny channel compared to some of these other ones, yeah. and we're not even monetized yet. They just like hamper it down. Cause, well, then I again I think about it. There's a lot of stuff that goes on that people are trying to fudge up the numbers and the views and stuff to get monetized but to keep it maintain it you got to yeah. do it correctly so what tags we use so basically um i use a technique that i learned watching videos from brian g and it's pretty good that um basically what i do when i come up with a title for a, a video I go and I do some searching. So like on that one, I think it was uh, curiosities and oddities. I searched on YouTube. 
I want to make sure that it's something that's being searched. And then once you get a title, then you put it in. We use TubeBuddy. Well, I use TubeBuddy. I keep saying we. She don't do this crap. No, I come <laughs> on here and I talk to you guys. That's pretty much. Yeah, I use TubeBuddy <laughs> and I have it suggest some of the of the tags, the first part of the tags. And then I'll write the description using the tags and the title uh, for the description. And then I put stuff in there like when we traveled there, because that's the purpose of our channel is we're documenting our travels. Mm -hmm. um, then I'll put that into the description. But something that, that Pusha Studios pointed out to me, it was this week, that we weren't doing, well, I wasn't doing. I used that word we again, although you did help fix this. I only did a few. Yeah. <laughs> Supposedly, you got to go back in and uh, edit the closed caption. And I wasn't paying attention because vidIQ picks that up. And I, I normally use Firefox, and vidIQ doesn't run on Firefox. It runs on Chrome. So when I went back and I was looking at vidIQ, and it said one of the, the best practice things was that I didn't modify the closed caption. And basically, you just have to go in, unpublish, make a little change, and publish it again. And then it comes up saying that it's modified, not the automatic closed caption. Those elements that's in that vidIQ um, help with your video getting into the algorithm. So those, those best practices have to be in place, and then you need the traffic to help push it through. Then once it's done... That's, you know, people just say, just out of the blue, their video goes viral. Well, no, it's, you got to have all that stuff in place and people got to be searching for that search term and then it just could take off. And then people say, oh man, look at this. It's got crazy pictures or whatever. And they share it and then it's just like a big fireball that starts taking. And when I say take off, we're talking, I know one guy we met, actually we did the Adam Kimmel one. Their channel only has like three 3,600 subscribers, something like that. But his videos are like 30,000, 40,000 views. That's just crazy traffic. I'm just happy. I, I'd be ecstatic to get 100, <laughs> you know. But Well, Entity Paranormal said that they got oh, monetized hello. a couple weeks ago. Good for so you. congratulations Good for you. Good for you. And they get their subs to go up and down all the time. Yeah, it's um, that... But, but two chicks said that um, they get hit with t about 20 every time they hit a new 100. So Hit with 20 what? 20 I assumed it views? was the, the view number changes. I assumed every time they got 100. I, I, Richard, I find the same thing about TV shows. <laughs> he said uh, there's a lot of YouTube channels that need taken off, in his opinion, but they stay. Yeah. No, I haven't thought about that Halloween DIY place. So I'll tell you what, what I do as far as our videos. Like how we... Then they again, removed I said 13 we, to 20 people. Wow, remove wow. the account. So every time you hit 100, 20 disappear. Crazy. Yeah. Well, I did see one thing that came out from the gurus is is that they said that if you have subscribers to your channel and they don't participate um, within a certain amount of time, of course, they don't tell you what that time frame is, they'll remove the subscription and your numbers will go, you know. So even if somebody subbed to you or the channel got deleted, we had that. We had that problem too when we were trying to get to a thousand, or because I was going crazy. We would get like the nine oh three, and then it would drop down to eight ninety five. Then we would spike up to nine thirty, and then we would go back down. It's like we're never going to hit a thousand. It was like a month of that fluctuation up and down. So that's why when we push through a thousand, I want to make sure I, I want to eleven hundred, twelve hundred, thirteen hundred. Let's yeah. let's keep going up there just so we keep to a thousand. And uh, yeah. So, anyways, the what we do with uh, with the videos, uh, we have another website called virtualghosthunt.com too that I've been working on. Um, so, when a video comes out, it uh, 
First thing I do, it goes out on Twitter, and then I have a spreadsheet set up where I go in and I put in the video number, hashtags, um, the link to the no, video number, hashtags, and, and title. And then I use a service that automatically posts that to Panic D Facebook page and Twitter. So that's how the big thumbnail image comes out on our Twitter account, if you've seen it on there or on Facebook, with the link to the video. That's automatic. I just put it in a spreadsheet and it does it. Then once that comes out, we have Dark Shadow Ghost Tours Facebook page, our personal Facebook page. We have a Facebook group, four, four or five Facebook groups. We put them in there. Um, I put it on a virtual ghost hunt. And then sometimes, especially with the ghost stories and folklore ones, I'll put them on Reddit. Uh, there's a couple subreddits that I belong to on there. I'll put them out on there. That that one's a little tricky. You got to watch with that because you will get trolls and nasty comments and thumb downs and things like that and whatever. But <coughs> uh, there's one that group that I belong to called Your Ghost Stories or something like Ghost Stories or something like that, and they love the ghost stories and folklore. Then the ghost stories and folklore, uh, the Tuesday ones, are on a website called Twelve Twelve Nights of Horror. So he has our playlist on there, and he tweets it out. He's got about 45,000 Twitter followers. So that gives us a little boost, a little kick there, too. So I have, like, a whole list of places where I put stuff. It's just getting the 100 views. And that's why I slowed down, too, because there, there was some time there from November on. I was posting every day. Yeah. Something was coming out every day. And I wasn't giving the videos time to sit there and let people watch them because then the next one would come out. Yeah. Well, next week's going to kind of be that way, too. You got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday next week. So, well, and we did Tuesday, that last week. Yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Sid says, Do we have a substitute for YouTube? And Richard said, Did you send out a reminder for this video? He didn't get one. I don't know the answer to either one of those. Richard, you didn't get the that we're going live in 30 minutes? Yep, I set it up just like I normally do. So you might want to check our, like, go to our channel and make sure that that bell notification didn't come off. Tracy, did you get it? Did you get the we're going live in 30 minutes thing? And what about substitute for YouTube? Do I have a substitute? There are other services out there. I may start a Twitch account and start cross-posting just in case. You know, to be perfectly honest with you guys, <laughs> I actually wrote my own service. Uh, I actually, it's sitting on our web server. That's another business that we own. Um, that's similar to YouTube where I can actually just put them on our web page. But then you lose the community stuff. Yeah. It's dingy. I don't know, man. It, it's set up the exact same way. I didn't change anything. And I did check it, too, to make sure that it's set. And it did put it It did put it did on our channel an hour before we went live. I checked that. It showed up. So, you know, it's just they're playing around with the notifications. So this is what I was talking about, about the little changes and subtles. And I was talking to Tracy about this, too, a little bit, too. We may set up a Discord server. There was something, you know, and we didn't even talk about the, the collabs we had. We didn't even talk about that. We had the collab with Michael Ferrer Jr., which was awesome. awesome. He came in Medicine Gettysburg. I know you guys saw that. Mm -hmm. um, we had a Braxis Paranormal stop here at the house. We did a collab with him. That was awesome. But one thing that Michael does that I kind of like with his community is he keeps the conversation going. And he has a, um, well, he started out doing a thing on Twitter where it was a chat group. And everyone from the community goes to there and they keep just talking back and forth. But the problem is you only have 50 people in there. So he reached that max. So they're moving it to Discord. So I think we're just going to skip that whole Twitter thing and go to Discord and set up a chat room so you guys can talk with it. Because we really, in reality, once we get back to school, we'll probably only go live once a week and very rarely very be rarely able to be do able the to do Thursdays, the yeah. you know, that kind of thing. But at least we could keep chatting back and forth. And then if you guys get a notification 
of like in Discord or something, I could post before we go live. Hey, we're going live at five. Boom, and you'll get that notification. Or if you are creators um, and part of the Parapeep community, you know, share your videos. Whatever, mm -hmm. just set that up on a Discord server. So, yeah. thinking about doing it, I have it. It's set up. I just haven't really announced it to you guys yet. I've been. I set it up, but. Um, so. Tracy said that she did, but it was in a private message. I sent you that, I think. I think I sent I sent you the private message. But you didn't get a notification on the other one that Panic D videos would be live in a half hour? It doesn't seem that way. All right, so we got Sid Hartz in. I know Tracy will do it. I, I just got to talk to her a little bit more. I know she's not on Twitter, but no, it'd be something cool. We could just keep. Sorry, right. I'm not on Twitter forth. either. Just Boris is. <laughs> yeah, Boris is on Twitter. Boris tweets. Boris tweets. I don't know. But yeah, we could we could keep talking, and we could work out these ideas, like what games you guys want to play, or and stuff like that. And yeah. you know, it doesn't give us the watch time, but who cares? You know, we could do a couple hours once a week. We could swing that. But I don't think we could keep up multiple live streams to keep... Because you have to maintain the 4,000 hours in a 12-month period. So I don't want to build up all of our hours being live streams. Because think, yeah. we can't maintain yeah. that. I thought it was twenty thousand minutes a month or something like that. Or is that it's twenty thousand minutes a month. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's right. Okay. It's four thousand hours I, in twelve months. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and you said it was six hundred and sixty six minutes a day. Yes. Six hundred and sixty six point <laughs> six six minutes a day. Yes. Is what's <clears throat> required to keep that that uh four thousand hours of a year. Yeah. And and again we're not I'm not looking to make any money off of YouTube. I just want to be able to post links and get help. And when I could get a hold of YouTube and say, "Hey, why are you taking away my views? What am I doing wrong?" And I think what I think I know what it is. It's it's YouTube. Now, if if or not YouTube, Facebook. I don't know if you guys follow us on Facebook, but um, Panic D Videos Facebook page has about twenty three hundred, if not more, followers. And Dark Shadow Ghost Tours has over 7,000 followers. We can't get all those people that we know on Facebook to, to come, come over here. and create a YouTube account and follow us on YouTube. So I post it on Facebook, and then I post a reply to the comment, and they can watch it on Facebook. And I think that's what's triggering off that audit is because those views aren't coming from Facebook. They're not coming from a, or YouTube. YouTube. They're coming from a different service, and we have it out there so many places. And they're like, "Wait a minute, what's this guy doing?" You know, and I'm doing it right. I'm just trying to hit the. Our community is so widespread. We got people on Instagram and people here and people there, and I, I think we're just going to go with Discord and give you guys the link and say, "Come and chat." So, and you can download a Discord app for your phone, so you you don't have to be tied to a computer. CC is me is here said they were here a little bit earlier they had to leave and they're coming back but whatever site you start that they're in <laughs> okay so I'll have some more that's one thing we'll talk about next Saturday I'll have that set up the discord and provide you guys the links and that will be part of the thing that we talk about next Saturday and the certified pair of peeps before then uh, I'll shoot you guys an email with that too because i have the emails okay but, oh i thought you were going to finish sending out their certificates oh yeah we got to do we got a couple certificates too. and we got to get some mail out and we're gonna have all kinds of fun things to do well we got to get it done before i go start going back to work too yeah it's it's awful nice where's is richard still here <laughs> richard yeah, i'm Richard's still on still vacation <laughs> did i tell you that have i mentioned that recently it's so nice to not have to worry about. Although they have called to work. a few times. Yeah, I can handle a call here and there. That freaking alarm 
Got to get up and be at your desk by 7.30 sucks. <laughs> it does. What about having children at your feet by 7.20? <laughs> That's your problem. That's not my problem. I got to be able to answer the phone calls of you people with your children at your feet. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, goodness gracious. All right. Well... What are you thinking got about? Eight more here? minutes. Eight minutes? Okay. He wants to do eight minutes. Eight more minutes, and then we're going to wrap her up. Okay. Richard said, so what do you do for fun? Vacation. Uh, we should write a song about that. You know, I think someone did write a song about that, and I believe that Chevy Chase was in a movie about it then. <laughs> Actually, I think they wrote it for the movie. But so that's, you, know. you guys go around and watch YouTube videos and stuff like that. How are these people getting away with using commercial music? I use one little clip out of a out a of trailer. a a movie trailer and get flagged for copyright. But Marianne, okay, it, the other night when when Pusha Studios was on, I was on there and I was trying to tell Cassandra. Marianne is over here watching videos on on Facebook. It was Facebook. Some of them were Facebook on YouTube. Facebook and YouTube, both of them actually. <clears throat> of all these police departments across the United States doing this lip sync challenge, challenge, yeah. and they're using commercial music. They do say How on they every one of them that? that they don't own the music. Yeah, but still. I don't Richard know. says he wondered the same thing. You know how did they, how did they get? I I don't know. I, I, I don't understand it. I don't know how they don't get like their channel shut down. And I was and what I was saying was it's probably the only video that half of well, them no, have. No, there's other YouTubers that'll go live and just play commercial music. <clears throat> now I did that. I followed that thing when I was doing the Minecraft Mondays, which I quit doing by the way. Um, there was one I wanted to do as a dedication to ACDC because that's one of my favorite bands. I like seventies rock music. And I love ACDC. So I went on to YouTube and I went into, what is it, the create section and looked at the music that said that you can use this music, but other people might monetize and make money. Okay, whatever, as long as I don't get in trouble. So I used some ACD music in the, in those videos and they were time lapse. So it was like my tribute to ACDC. Sure enough, bam, flagged, you know. At first, it came up and it said, you're okay, just to let you know, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, other people could make money. I don't care. Whatever. But I thought it was a tribute to ACDC. And then it came back and said, nope, you got a copyright flag. So I just took the video down. So, so um, Tracy wants to know if Discord is phone friendly because she refuses to sit in front of a computer. Yes, you can get the app. So go ahead and get the app now. Um, you can do it. Just look for D I S C O R D. It's it'll say gamer something with the gamers. Actually, what kind of phone do you have, Tracy? Is it iPhone or is it Android? Okay, while well, we're waiting for that, two chicks said um, she, they don't know. Uh, they but they literally had a song on their list that they could use. They used it and they got a copyright. So now they have they they do have the ability to keep it up. But if she was ever monetized, the money goes to the artist. Yeah, the, fine. Who cares? You know, let them make money. But see, some of the times I would like to use those clips to, as part of my creative content like she was saying the song like how funny would it be to do like a traveling thing and then you're you know the vacation song i'm not going to sing it because just call it the vacation yeah the vacation the theme from vacation you know i found out long ago you know that i think that would be funny but you know you can't do that because copyright uh tracy says maybe it's karaoke music don't know I don't know. We subscribe to, I keep saying we, I, no, Panic D if we use the <laughs> word we. We subscribe to uh, Epidemic Sound. And that's that really made the ghost stories and folklore, like the music yeah. in the oddities one, 
is from Epidemic Sound, and we're covered. It's a little expensive. I think it's like 180 some dollars a year. But it's covered. Copyright, I don't have to worry about it. And it's so cool, I could go in and say, give me creepy circus music. Boom, there it is. I don't have to waste another two hours trying to find copyright-free music. So did she say what kind of phone she no. had? Tracy, what kind of phone do you have? Is it an Android or an iPhone? The way you spell it is, here, I could show you my screen. All these stupid notifications. Yeah, Everybody our notifications don't go out, but I'm sitting here closing about 50 of them. <laughs> so this is it here. This 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 Discord, it says free voice and text chat for gamers. And they do have it for um, I, iPhone and Android. You can get it on iPads. You can... Do it on a computer. They have it for whatever you want. And the um, the big boys use that too. So like Nick Nemmons and uh, Brian G. I, I don't know if Brian G does or not. Um, there's a couple of them. I know Nick Nemmons is one. I have them already. And what's really cool is is like uh, Michael Ferrer Jr., he's setting up one for the best hour of a day, you can have multiple discords in that app. So you could flip through and say, okay, I'm going to go to Panic D videos, or I'm going to go to Michael Ferrer, or I'm going to go whatever. And it's just like a chat. But we can set up the servers to say, okay, and here, post your most recent videos, or post a, your paranormal experience, or Hey, here's a picture. What do you think about that? You know, that kind of stuff. So it's like it continues the community going. In between videos. Yeah, yeah. And I really want to do that. And I'm not very good. I'm not very good, guys. I'm going to tell you right now, as far as coming to trying to build a community, I'm not very good at that. And I And I don't want to make a comment and sound... What's the word? I don't know the words, but sound like egotistical or something like that. But I don't have to worry about that at work. And I don't have to worry about that with my business and stuff like that because people come to me. You know what I mean? I'm a computer guy. I'm happy doing this stuff. Yeah, they come people to you with their questions. Me. It's like even our business, our main company that does internet marketing and web design, I don't I don't market it at all. I don't have to. And that's what the company is, but I don't have to. It's all referrals. They're like, hey, you need to talk to Sean. He'll get you whatever. You know, so then I already have that captive on it. For me to go out and build a community and keep a community going, I'm like Drawing at straws here, throwing darts. I've never done it before. That's never. That's why we were never successful with YouTube. It's sunk in finally. You know what I mean? Like seeing what Michael's doing and what Yankee does and what Pusha Studios does. It's like, okay, that makes sense. We need to go on and invite people to our lives and, and let's build this friendship and that kind of thing. Yeah. That's that's how you grow your channel. Two Two chicks, crew, they know, they do it. I was on their live stream. Actually, I met you guys on the live stream of the French guy, right? And then I went to your live stream. So it's going out to those communities. And then you, you, you build your own community. And then when you collab, those communities go together. And it's like... And then we meet great people like you. Yeah, but see, like on Facebook, Twitter, stuff like that, our numbers are so high is because we go out and we go out and put on murder mystery dinners with 250 some people and we tell them, we put in their programs and everything, hey, you want to see pictures from the event? Go to our Facebook page, we'll be posting them. And then before you knew it, you know, we've done oh geez, tw over 20 murder mystery dinners with that many people that's how the numbers exploded and then they would share it out and then you know, it did it for us we didn't have to go and build the community so <clears throat> tracy says she's a google pixel 2 phone okay so that runs android i think okay so yeah th it's available on android and um richard liked the music from the oddities video 
Sid said that community is built by good heart and you have one. Well, thank you. But I'm not a, by nature, I'm not a social type of guy. Yeah, neither one of us actually yeah, are. We get out in public or we get on here with you guys, boom, we could turn it on. But normally, we're not, we're learning. <laughs> we put on a we put on a good show and we we put on a good uh experience for people we want people to have a great time and uh we know how to do that but as far as like going out and hanging out and you know sitting out with friends and doing stuff like that we have very few very close friends that that we do that with yeah and yeah can maintain that i can't all right see the so chat. crystal can out can is here she just realized that our live stream was on so yeah, i don't know what just happened about getting close to ending it too i don't know what happened with the notifications why sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't yeah. but hey we get that Discord going, boom, we can drop a link in there. You guys would all know real quick. Yeah. All right, so. We do keep a schedule, so you guys know, every Saturday. Live at five, 5. Live at 5. Every Saturday, we will do that. If we are doing something else, we will tell people, we got to go, we'll be right back. Um, all right, thanks for keep that coming schedule. and hanging with us tonight, Richard. It was great to have you. And uh, we're going to be heading out here pretty soon, too. So what do you got going on over there, Mr. Donnelly? I thought I was bringing up chat. Bringing back chat? Okay. <clears throat> um, and Crystal said she will watch the replay. Live at 5, yep. Live at 5. Yes. Yep. Every Saturday. So why don't you tell them uh, one more time about how to get in the drawing for next week and what it is going yes. to be for. And I will kind of world's getting so busy get togethers are yep you're right get togethers are fewer and fewer and fewer all right so go ahead and hold that up so this is what you'll be playing for next week it's a copy of our book we will sign it for you and here's how you can enter to win it that's right basically you uh subscribe to our channel channel and hit the bell take a little screenshot of that send us proof to panic d videos at gmail.com with the subject hashtag 017 and then next week on our live at five we'll put your name in the hopper mm -hmm. and you can win that book so tracy i want to see that email yeah so you it'll be that book. our volume one the only one that we have done <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but volume one of our haunted travels and this is the saint augustine edition so guys we're going to wrap up here <laughs> um one thing we do ask is after this is done processing and it comes out there as a video that you could go back please come back and leave us a comment what do we want them to comment about what kind of game do they want to play? What kind of game you think would be good to play on a live stream? Because I don't think the chocolate fish will be very good. <laughs> Richard's chocolate fish. It may not Although go he into did suggestion. just say that he was leaving, but yeah. uh, I don't know. <laughs> what kind of game would be cool? And then we'll put a paranormal spin on it. Yes. We could even do like a paranormal family feud Ooh. or something, trivia, whatever. Will we when be, this is done will processing. Will we be picking like, people to be on our teams and we'll be playing each other? It would be cool if we could get 100 <laughs> responses from people. That would be very cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, so when this is done processing, please come back and leave that comment and because that helps the videos with the logarithm. And uh, you can also let us know what other, well, okay, guys. What, what other, other topics, topics. Yeah, so. For the uh, future? Yeah. Tomorrow, we'll be posting a teaser video with a <laughs> schedule of what's coming out next week. We're going to be doing the location of the East Cemetery Hill in Gettysburg. Mm -hmm. Thursday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Behind the Haunting. We're going to do Behind the Haunting of 
East Cemetery Hill. Those are a blast. If you guys haven't joined us before, we're going to go over all of the paranormal claims. We're going to go over some of the history of it. We're going to show you some of the stuff that we caught while we were out there and ask your input as yeah. to why you think this stuff could be happening. And uh, Friday, we'll wrap it up with our location video, and then we're back live at 5 on Saturday. Yeah, it's going to be a busy week for you. Yeah. I got to get with <laughs> Boris. Yeah. Boris and I got to get together and make a video. <laughs> that's all right that's okay all you right sit back a little further he can pat you on the head <laughs> all righty guys well hey we thank you thank you thank you very much for joining us and hanging around and listening to us just yes, go we off appreciate you listening to us ramble for a while every every week <laughs> yeah yeah great time we we look forward to this every saturday so we appreciate it hope you come back again check out our videos if you haven't subscribed please boom, do so subscribe hit that like button do all those fun stuff wish you didn't have to beg for that stuff but hey that's okay not a problem are you ready i'm ready all right folks until next time thanks for watching and happy hunting If you like to see more videos from Panic D videos in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that bell for notifications. Also help support the channel by sharing this video with your friends and family and anyone else who might be interested in the paranormal. Thanks for watching and happy hunting.